Well, I'll be damned. I didn't know you were a criminal mastermind, Miss Caulfield. <laughs> There's a lot you don't know about me. <laughs> Truly, is nothing easy? How do we get around that? Oh, yeah. Easy peasy. Sure about this? Positive. Wait for it. Go. Talk about descending into the mouth of hell. I think this is the part where we abandon all hope. Ugh. All hope of not contracting tetanus, maybe. <laughs> uh, I had a friend in undergrad who was obsessed with this building. She never broke in, though. She clearly wasn't as crazy as you. <laughs> Urban exploration is kind of my thing. I can't see a busted old place and simply not go into it. What is it about empty spaces? Well, I don't know. An abandoned building has the potential to be anything. Just by going inside, I make it into something new. Hell yeah, let's hit the bar. Not a bad shot. Oh, let me just... Don't! What? I don't usually rearrange the space if I can help it. I want it to look exactly like it would without human interference. Got it. Hands off. Is there anything that I should be doing? Just sit still and look pretty. <gasps> the job I was born for. <laughs> <laughs> So what are we looking for exactly, besides photographing random detritus? Most of the shoots I do, I find a focus. Something to hang the rest of the series on. I'll know when I see it. Something... lonely. The loneliest thing you can find. Gotcha, boss. Okay. Wow. It looks so much cleaner than it did online. Are there photos? Yeah. The old website is still up. I wonder who's paying the hosting fees. Someone who loves kitsch. And dust. So much for never rearranging a space. Damn. I bet that was stunning when it caught the light. Oh shit. That's it, huh? Hmm? The centerpiece you wanted, right? The loneliest thing in here or whatever. It was made to be beautiful. And now no one ever looks at it. Until today. <laughs> Something like that. Not in love with this angle, though. There. Help me find a way up. You got it, boss. You okay? Damn. <laughs> yeah, I I'm fine. That could have been bad. See, this is why you need an assistant. In case you break your ass and need an ass ambulance. 
Go get your shot. Let me figure out how to get you back down. <laughs> wow. Ballet service too? This place is bougie. Please remember to tip your ladder driver. Did you get your shot? And let's get the hell out of this death trap! Come on, I'm starving. This loneliness makes me want a sandwich. Oof. Beautiful dismount. Check this out, it's perfect. Oh, show me the angle. Oh my god. What? Oh! <laughs> <gasps> Holy shit! Are you okay? <laughs> I need a drink. Do you need a drink? You read my mind. Uh, turtle? Turtle. My powers might not last. That's okay. We will. Chloe! Mac. Mac. You dead? Oh, yeah. I mean, <laughs> I mean, no. Not dead. Just thinking. Cosmopolitan for Max, vodka shot for Safi, very on brand in both cases. Perfect. Thanks a ton, Amanda. Hey, you look really good today. You think so? I switched shampoos. Oh, not sure about it yet. <laughs> so, what are you up to later? If there's a just and loving God, sleep. Today's been a doozy. Ah. Well, sweet dreams. You know she was flirting with you, right? What? Amanda, are you actually this oblivious? Okay, hold the phone. I know when someone is flirting. It just takes me a while to decide if I want to flirt back. Didn't you go on a multi-year cross-country road trip? Did you get laid even once? Safi? <gasps> Is this about the blue-haired girl whose picture you keep in your wallet? Wait, you snooped in my wallet? Stop deflecting. The girl with the blue hair. What's the deal with you two? Look, we were kind of high school sweethearts, okay? High school breakup turned you to Miss Havisham? It was a little more complicated than... Can, can we change the subject now? No, come on. You never talk about yourself. Would it kill you to open up the teeny tiniest bit? What happened? She... died. My senior year. Oh. Shit. Nah, hey, it's cool. It was a long time ago. You... want to talk about something else? God, yes. Deal. Amanda. Thoughts? Ugh, fine, yes. I have a big, stupid crush on a hot girl. So does half a lakeport. Amanda's a total catch. Half of Lakeport doesn't have what you have. A Safi. I can help you navigate the complicated waters of love. First step, talk to her. About what? What do normal people even talk about? Mostly gas prices. 
But we're aiming a little bit higher. I mean, go look around. She's responsible for half the decor in this place. Learn what she likes. Yeah. Yeah. Why the hell not, you know? Okay, then. to go be normal. <sighs> Busy night? Ugh. Julie called off, so I haven't gotten a single break all shift. My bladder's about to explode. Go, pee. You can talk to me later. It's a fabulous idea. Don't go anywhere. That's the third glass this week, Reggie. I got this. Bathroom. Now. You are a literal angel. I owe you. Out of the way, freshman! Come here, my sharp little friends. Moonlighting, huh? Hey. Photography is a tough industry. Next time, remember, the class goes on the table. <laughs> oh, my bladder thanks you. Tell your bladder it's my pleasure. Oh, and I saw you fix the paintings. We're gonna have to put you on payroll. Yeah, <laughs> I'm pretty amazing. So hey, you were gonna say something before all that. Those photos on the wall over there. Is that your family? Yep, all six of us, my poor mother. <laughs> I love those goobers. Plus, I'm the oldest, so they have to do what I say. Mm. So, you're a misery cult fan? For sure. <laughs> so cool that you know them. Uh, yeah, they're great. The, um, guitar solos, the vo the vocals. So, you've never heard of them? <sighs> Fuck. Busted. Don't hate me, please. If I had a nickel for every time I pretended to know what the Smiths sound like. So, educate me. I want to know. Misery Cult were the first band out of Lakeport to make it big. They kind of founded the Lakeport music scene. Lakeport has a scene? Like, multiple bands? Yeah, man. This town's pretty sick outside of the academic bubble. Recommend a beer for someone who hates the taste of beer. Handlebar cider. That's the max-ist thing on tap. How did you- It's my job to know the regulars. I am the all-seeing eye of Lakeport, Vermont. <laughs> You're starting to sound like one of those Abraxas guys. That dork-ass, rich kid secret society bites your tongue. I gotta know what the deal is with the pickup lines. My buddy Henry and I were co-headlining a comedy night. Holy shit, you do comedy? And this is the first I'm hearing about it? Sorry, sorry. Listening quietly, please proceed. So the whole drive up, he's telling me the grossest pickup lines he can think of, trying to get me to squirm. Dumb, bro shit. Anyway, it turned into a competition, which I won. Nobody knows grosser pickup lines than a small town lesbian. And the competition turned into the chalkboard? So? Give it a shot. What's the best pickup line you've got? Are you a campfire? Cause you're smoking hot and I want some more. <laughs> Cringe. <laughs> Goofy as hell. Uh, perfect. You're on the board, Max. Yes! So... I was thinking... That we should totally do something in Lakeport sometime? You could show off the local music scene. Oh, hell yeah. There's this band, Revenge Horse, that I've been meaning to check out. Based on that name alone, I'm 100% in. Plus, pretending to be in a Revenge Horse is way cooler than pretending to be in a misery cult. Ha ha. <laughs> so, um... Ugh. Uh, I like to make sure that boundaries get set early. Uh, so... Zero pressure, either way, but 
Is this a date thing or is this a friend thing? I was kind of definitely thinking a date thing. You're really fucking adorable. It's a date then. You, Max, doing normal people shit like some kind of healthy, productive member of society. How do you feel? I have no idea. The last ten minutes are total blur. <laughs> but Amanda's really cool. Ooh. Moses! Hey! <laughs> oh, how was the shoot? We almost died. We didn't almost die. Yeah, because I saved us. I deserve a medal. <laughs> <laughs> so what are we doing? The night's young. We should hang out. Just the three of us? There's a meteor shower tonight. I'm conducting research, but it could be fun with other people. You should come. Both of you. That's perfect. All we need is... Hold on. <laughs> she's a mile a minute tonight. She gets this way when she's in a good mood. Courtesy of Madame President, Mommy Dearest. At least until she remembers that I have her credit card. <laughs> Shall we? Give me the Cliff Notes version of what we're actually here to see. A bunch of little pieces of a shattered asteroid. From 11 million miles away. This is what I give for introducing you to. Wow. So should we be worried about this crazy asteroid hitting Earth? <laughs> Not in our lifetime. And it'll probably disintegrate before it reaches the surface. All right, Max. You have 24 hours before the world ends. What would you do? Oh, I'm documenting that shit. Can you imagine how cool an apocalypse photo set would be? Oh my god, this again? Nobody would see it. I'm telling you, art requires an audience. Otherwise, it's just... Okay, jeez. Agree to disagree. Awful quiet over there, Murph. Don't want to weigh in? Oh, uh, I wasn't listening. But, hey, looks like the equipment's working. Eek, why am I not at home wrapped up in a blanket burrito right now? Cause, despite your attempts to convince us otherwise, you're a really sweet person. And you wanted to spend time with us. Aww. <laughs> oh, I brought cups. Figured that was better than passing the bottle around. This is the best you could do? I don't work in this building. Don't blame me for the astronomy department's bad taste. Mine says I'm the world's horniest grandma. Grab a mug, Max. Well, one out of two ain't bad. I have some good news. Uh, it's big but I can't tell you what it is. You can't tell us you have good news and then- I don't want to say anything else until everything is finalized. Mysterious. Well, whatever we're celebrating, I think it calls for a selfie. Oh, let me, I just got this camera and I want to get some good use out of it. What should we say? Damn, I think I have hypothermia. Moses has hypothermia. I've got incoming. I'm gonna, you know, um, do my thing. <laughs> Ooh. 
Good news, huh? You two and your secrets. How you ever hold a conversation with each other is beyond me. Hey, Moses. Doesn't some small part of you want to know what Safi's good news is? All right. I think I have an idea. But once we go down this road, we can't turn back. Um, okay. Give this to Safi, if you can. You'll probably have to trick her into taking it or plant it on her. Like a prank? No. This has rules. So it's more of a game. Whoever holds the bottle cap has to do whatever you say. Well, within reason. Moses, I have literally never wanted to play a game more in my entire life. You say that now, but Safi has a very loose definition of within reason. And she'll come for you next. <laughs> okay, wish me luck. Don't do anything I wouldn't do. Oh, you mean like talking to someone who has an obvious crush on me? First of all, how dare you? Second of all, yes, exactly. Hey, Safi. Mm-hmm. Want a piece of candy? There's a few left. Oh, twist my arm. <sighs> Shit. It's a conspiracy. Come on, Max. Surely you, of all people, would let a girl have her secrets. And violate the sacred covenant of the bottle cap? Never. You know I'm going to get you back for this, right? Less thready, more talk. Okay. So, well, I've been shopping around a bunch of my poetry, right? Like, as a collection. And a publisher made an offer. For real? Oh my god, Sophie! <laughs> that's incredible! Congratulations! <laughs> Thank you. Nothing signed or anything yet, so I want to keep it under wraps until all the paperwork gets signed. Understood. Your secret is safe with me. <laughs> oh. Oh, shit. Hello? This is Safi? Yes, this is Safi Llewellyn Fayad. Speaking. Be right back. So, uh, would you really take pictures of the end of the world? Yeah. Think about it. I take photos of empty buildings. An empty planet? <laughs> That's next level. Okay. But it's like Safi said. Nobody is ever going to see them. Sure, but... Who cares? I take a lot of photos nobody ever sees. I want to go out doing something I'm good at, you know? Huh. Oh, what? No, nothing. Just didn't take you as a, it's the journey, not the destination type. I mean, I guess I'm not. It's more like sometimes you reach the destination alone. And that's okay. Look at that. What a tale. Are you okay? 
Y yeah. All good. Just dizzy. Maybe the champagne. Think I'm gonna take off? Get some rest. I can give you a ride if you wait a few minutes. No, that's okay. I think a walk will clear my head. I think so. I'm glad Moses invited me out tonight. Caledon's a beautiful campus, but it's even better when it snows. Max? Hey. hey. Hey, are you okay? Something's wrong. Sophie. Hey! Come back! Sophie, she seems okay. Sophie. Sophie? Hey, you okay? Don't say that! I won't trade you! No matter what you choose, I know you'll make the right decision. Max, it's time.
Welcome to the wall, Safi. Shit. Fuck. Damn, Chloe. I thought I lost you. Again. Amazeballs! I literally just got chills all over my neck. You have powers! You can rewind time, Max. That's fucking insane! No, Chloe. What's fucking insane is that being able to rewind time has only caused me more problems. And more heartbreak. Shit. Oh. My place is a mess. Shit, shit, shit. I'm a mess. Amanda might be down to watch a decapitated head in a bucket wreak havoc, but probably shouldn't assume. I don't think Amanda needs to see a two-ply monument to my sadness today. Not really up for dragging Amanda down traumatic memory lane. Best to get this out of sight. Oh, better clean those up too. Hey, Amanda. Welcome to hell. <laughs> oh, honey. We're doing dramatic goth kid grief. Go big or go home, I always say. <laughs> She's really gone, Amanda. Sophie was here two days ago. And now- I know, Max. I know. Why would anybody want to- I mean, she was just- God, how embarrassing. I'm falling apart right in front of you. Sorry for- I Don't you dare. You are hereby ordered to be nice to yourself. I'll begrudgingly admit, it is nice to see a friendly face. A friendly face. With food! Homegrown salad and homemade focaccia. Damn. Okay, then. I would have been happy with old Halloween candy and a Pop-Tart. <laughs> Full disclosure, I don't exactly have the biggest of appetites right now. Really? Eating always makes me feel better. Never encountered a mood that couldn't be improved by demolishing an entire pizza solo. You just wait till I'm feeling better. I could eat you under the table. <laughs> Wowzers. Shit. That came out wrong. My thoughts have been kind of- It's cool. <laughs> I'll never be able to hear drink you under the table the same way again. Oof. 
You need to eat, Max. The stuff that makes you feel close to normal again is usually what you need the most. Whoa. I haven't seen one of these since I was like 10. I would have figured instant cameras were a professional photography no-no. I like them. Always have. So, I don't know. Tactile. Looking through the viewfinder, holding the photo in your hands, it feels more real. Another way to make you feel normal again? Taking a picture of your friend Amanda. Friend? Yeah, we... I know you asked me out. But honestly... You've got a lot on your plate. Emotionally. You know, you're probably right. You do know I think you're cool as fuck, right? Even if you're not in the headspace for anything romantic. Now how about that photo? That's what I'm talking about. How about another one? Different pose this time. Okay. Why not? <laughs> oh. oh, shit. Sorry. It's Sophie's mom. Um, just... just a sec, okay? Hi, Yasmin. Hi. Hi, Maxine. How are you holding up? Uh, there's no graceful way to answer that question. Not without lying. Have you ever dealt with loss like this? Sadly... I have. It doesn't get easier, but it can hurt less with time. A bitter balm. I wanted to talk to you face to face, uh, if possible. Doing this over the phone feels so... Of course. Um, I can come by today. I'll be in my office all day. Just let Vin know when you arrive. Everything okay? Not sure. I need to head to campus to meet with her. I can't thank you enough for coming by, Amanda. It's what you do. This is the one thing that brightened your mood today. Aside from me. <laughs> Come on. I'll walk with you.
Yasmin's office is in the old administration building. Well, time to see if these jokers burn down the turtle in my absence. Will I see you later? You know where to find me. Fuck me. Howdy, Vin. Howdy. Let me guess. She texted you to come see her. I keep telling her to send all comms through me, but sometimes she goes rogue. How dare she use her phone without your permission? You think this is an easy gig? Kahuna's got a social calendar like a TikTok influencer. I'm sorry. Kahuna? That's borderline adorable. Oh. Listen. I'm I'm really sorry about Safi. Thanks. Me too. She and I had our issues, but. She was an amazing person, and we're all gonna miss her. Issues? What could the two of you have to fight about? I got between Safi and her mom constantly. Could you blame her for hating my ass? It's good you're here. She's... Well, she's about like you'd guess. I don't know what I can do. Are you kidding? She's obsessed with you. I I'm a little jealous, actually. See, I only like favoritism when I'm the one who's favored. Why does that not surprise me? Well, she's got somebody with her now, so it'll be a few. Or if you're dying for stimulation... I've got a package waiting for me down the hall. You're welcome to get it for me. Does your beneficence know no bounds? <laughs> Fuck! You gotta be kidding me! Sounds like someone else needs my help. Good luck. Have fun. Aha! Here you go. Saved you the trip. <laughs> What's this? Uh, don't tell me we're becoming friends. Oh, friends at least. Maybe with a few benefits. Oh, uh, 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 yeah? Such as? Such as fetching packages from down the hall. <laughs> All right. What do you want? What do I want? Sure. Nothing's free. At least, not if you're smart. So, what do you want? Nothing now, but... You'll owe me. One favor. Delivered on demand. You drive a hard bargain, Caulfield. But I like it. <laughs> You're full of surprises. Gwen? 
All good? Uh... Max... I, uh... So... I'm a hugger. Um... Are you a hugger? World champion hugger, as a matter of fact. Bring it in. God, I didn't realize how bad I needed that. <laughs> I couldn't just stand there. You look like you were walking around in a trance. That's pretty much how I feel. Is there anything you need or that I can do for you? Actually, I was hoping to give you a hand. You sounded like you could use it. Oh, right. I came in here to pick up a book, but lo and behold, some genius locked it up. Oh, hey, you're like the, uh, breaking and entering queen, right? Think you can get past this lock? So that's what everybody thinks of me? The home invader? Bad reputation, twins? Boom. Bad reputation, twins. Hold on now. You might feel a slight pinch. Holy shit! You did it! You're a lifesaver. Yeah, I probably should have figured that out myself. But uh, hey, what can you do? We're all a touch fucked at the moment. I hope the book was worth all that trouble. What is it? Oh, it's an old mystery novel. It's the author's debut, actually. Kind of random, I know. <laughs> Did Safi ever tell you about the manuscript she was working on? I knew she wanted to write a book someday, but I don't think she ever got the chance. Why? Oh, no particular reason. Just hoping we have plenty to remember her by. A legacy, you know. Yeah. Thanks again for the help. And don't be a stranger, okay? My door is always open. Thanks. You too. Hey, Max. Moses, I... Yasmin's waiting for you. Are you okay? I've been... Can it wait? I'm like... A husk right now. I... I need a minute. Yeah. Sure. Meet me in the Fab Cafe. Grab a hot chocolate and... I'll find you when I'm done. I can do that. I am telling you to do your job. You're a parent, Chief Banks. Surely you... Of course. <laughs> Yes? Please, anything you learn. Yes. Goodbye. That was the Lakeport police chief. Overconfident and underqualified. Sounds like the cops aren't being very helpful. Can't say I'm surprised. Yes. Well, they're the only thing at my disposal. Let me ask you something. Be honest with me. Safi and I weren't always so close. Things used to be... difficult. Did she tell you that? No, but family is always complicated, isn't it? Who has a perfect relationship with their mom? Well, not Safi. Not always. 
So, what's your question? Despite everything they have found, the police have still not ruled out suicide as the cause of death. Maxine, you and Safia were friends. She told you things she wouldn't tell me. Is there any reason to think she may have taken her own life? Safi would never have hurt herself, or anybody else. It's not who she is. That's what I believe as well. But sometimes, the people closest to us are capable of hiding their own pain. She was fine the last I saw her. She was excited about the future. And that's how I will choose to remember her. Happy and hopeful. I'm sorry. I wish I could have done more. You've done enough, Maxine. Thank you. Oh, um, before you go, we need a picture of Safia for the memorial materials. Would you mind taking a look and choosing your favorite? Sure. I told you, don't contact me on this phone. And texts only, no calls. Hmm, this sounds interesting. Well, I'm, I'm sure the police know that already, even if... I understand that, but did they find anything? Interesting call? Uh, Loretta. Jeez. She scared the hell out of me. Did you need something? Need? Nah, I was just curious about Dr. Hunter's phone call. Seems I'm not the only one. Wow. <laughs> Caught in the act. I swear I used to be better at this kind of thing. Did you? That sounds like a story I should hear. Well, since you're not busy, maybe you could help me out, you know? One snoop to another? I'm not, I... Just hold on. Let me relocate. What can I do for you? You could give me a quick soundbite for my podcast. I guess that's fine. What do you need? Just for background, you were close friends with Safi Llewellyn Fayette. Oh. Um. Yeah, we're... We were friends. Is it true she used school resources for personal purposes and that her mother turned a blind eye? I'm not gonna help you smear Safi. If you're not into it, I'll just go interview Dr. Hunter instead. I'm sure we'd have a lot to talk about. You're bluffing. You were trying to listen in too. You said so yourself. Oh, shit. Hi, Professor. I just thought you might want to know that Miss Caulfield's been listening to your calls. Loretta, I don't know how you have time to be a snitch when you still owe me revisions. Beat it. <sighs> what a little shit. But she's not a liar. Anything you want to tell me, Max? I wanted to check on you. You seemed so upset in the library earlier. Max. I don't like to be pitied, and I like fake pity even less. Leave me alone. You know, I really thought we were cool. Just stay out of my way. Fantastic. Anything else want to go wrong today? 
Might as well pack it all in at once. I don't even know where to start. Hey, I'm sorry I didn't return your texts or call you. I should have. I get why you didn't. Really. And I'm sorry too. Probably should have given you some space. Listen, the last few days have been hell, but we're both here now, and we're going to get through. I just, I keep replaying it in my head. Could we have done something? Gotten there sooner or called her when she didn't come back? Why didn't one of us go with her, Max? Why do we let her walk off alone like that? Don't. Don't torture yourself. We can't change any of it. What if I can't do this, Max? You can't. Neither of us can. Not alone. But the next time you need me, I'll be there. Safi weighs heavily on us today. In fact, my best-selling novel speaks to this precise moment. Safi disliked my book, ironically, but sales don't lie. And being remembered for one's words is a kind of immortality. Grief is fleeting. But words... Words are deathless. They endure. I want to honor Safi Llewellyn and pay tribute to her unique voice. Hence why we're holding class on the quad today. Is that Lucas? Comanero, head of the lit department. God, what a pretentious creep. Safi hated his guts. I don't give a shit what Lucas does. He shouldn't either. It just bugs me seeing him up there, basking in everybody's sadness. Safi never found the audience that so few of us enjoy. It's up to us to keep her fire burning. Tell me that shutting him up won't make me feel better. It won't. But I wouldn't blame you for trying it anyway. I'll find you later. I can't watch this. Max. Good to see you. Who knew you were so self-centered? Dick move. Paying tribute to my colleague? Seems like you're paying tribute to Lucas Colmenero. You were close with Safi too, weren't you? Anything you'd like to say? Yeah. I think I could share a thing or two. I knew Safi well. And this would have been a total nightmare for her. The self-seriousness of it all would have made her skin crawl. She would have stood there and made the dumbest faces you've ever seen. Just to get me to laugh. The fact that she isn't here right now to fuck with us. It's not fair.
So, did it make you feel better? Shutting him up? Honestly, kinda. In a stomping on your Barbies while pretending to be Godzilla kind of way. Y you know that's not a universal childhood experience, right? Well, maybe it should be. <laughs> hey, I have a question about Sophie. Okay. What's the deal with this bench? You tease to sit here all the time. Oh, yeah. Guess we did, huh? Uh, this was our lunch bench when we were both teaching summer school. For someone so chatty, she really got the appeal of comfortable silence, you know? Hey, Max. Yeah. I'm going to use present tense for just a little longer. I'm not ready for Safi to be a was yet. I don't think I can pretend she's still here. That what happened didn't happen. Neither option seems tenable, does it? How did you guys meet anyway? I never asked. It's not much of a story. I came to Caledon late, mid-year. Safi was assigned to give me the big, shiny grad student tour. I think she saw it as a chore. Doesn't Yasmin have a VIN for that? Exactly. But uh, then she saw this bracelet I got in Kyoto. A little cherry blossom. I've always liked that bracelet. She just finished a poem called Hanami. It means watching blossoms in Japanese. I haven't thought about that in a while. Okay. I might need a little alone time. Probably just as well. I gotta get over to the observatory anyway. You'll text if you need anything? Yeah. Promise. You too. Yeah? <laughs> no, no! You want to go in aggressive with the red deck. Hit hard and don't let up. Lose more tactically. Moses? It's not rock, paper, scissors. Any color deck can beat any other with the right cards. Yeah. Anytime. <laughs> Later. What the hell was that? If she could just hear me like I can hear her. Saucy! I'm right here! Right in front of you! Fuck it, I got pizza rolls in my office. Jeez, there you are. Thought I was gonna freeze to death. What the fuck is happening?
Well, it doesn't sound like the call was no big deal. It sounds like it was important to you. Sophie's alive. Did I... Did I actually manage to rewind time? Max, are you okay? It kind of seems like you're on drugs. Huh? Oh. No, I'm just... Really happy you're here with me. And your mom. So, drugs then? Sorry, uh... What were we talking about? Somebody mentioned a phone call? Hmm, yes. I was shocked too. I didn't know people still answered their phones. Funny, Mom. And yeah, it wasn't a big deal. It was just from the publisher. Right! Your book! The secret book! I'm so proud of my girl. Publishing is always such a difficult endeavor. Thanks, Mom. Is no one going to take our order? It's been, like, a few minutes. Have you ever had a food service job? Like, ever? I don't think they're ignoring us. They're just understaffed. Give her a minute. Amanda will spot us. You really should hire more hands. No need for standards to drop as soon as the students are gone for the winter. The whole place could use a facelift, to be honest. Come on, Yasmin. You don't have anywhere else to be? I need to ask Sophie about... God, where do I even start? What is that? Oh shit. Dude, your nose. It's fine. Just a nosebleed. Um, back in a sec. Wow. I thought you got lost in a blizzard. Dropped your phone down a bottomless pit. Something. Uh, lost? No. You're right, I'm being passive aggressive. Sorry. It's just... You asked me out and then ignored my text for 48 hours. Kinda sucked is all. Oh, so... so I asked you out? I mean, that's... How I interpreted it when you stood there two nights ago and said you wanted to go on a date. Two nights ago is exactly when I asked Amanda out. So I haven't gone back in time. Oh shit. This Amanda never talked to me about slowing down our relationship. Because Sophie isn't dead. So are you going to tell me what happened? Shit. I was working. I get total runaway train tunnel vision sometimes. I'm so sorry. Ah. The old I'm a serious artist excuse. I didn't mean to make you feel like crap. Hey. Shit happens. I won't bug you about it. Just didn't love it. I should get back to work. Take it easy, eh? So if I didn't rewind, this is some kind of alternate reality. But I still talked to Amanda two days ago. So far, everything here seems basically the same, except... Holy shit. I'm... I'm back, aren't I? In... Dead World. This is so fucking crazy. Max. You're here. I'm here. Surprise. You good? I'm okay. You really cheered me up earlier. Happy to line up my comedic stylings to girls in need. <laughs> Thanks. Are you here for... We already talked in her office. She seems to be doing... You know, bad. God knows. 
I offered her free coffee for as long as she wants it. I gotta get back to it. Don't forget I'm here for you, okay? Thanks, Amanda. Honestly, Safia, I wish you'd have told me sooner. I was getting around to it. All clear? We don't need to get you a blood transfusion? Oh, I'm golden. Probably just the weather, you know? Oh, did the forecast call for massive nosebleeds? <sighs> Duty calls. Send me the bill for the windshield, please, Safia. Windshield? Another piece of shit pie. Someone... Hold on, it's easier if I just show you. Jesus. Fuck, Safi. Is that your car? Charming, right? I found it this morning. Do you have any idea who did it? No. But if I ever find out, it's on site. They couldn't have picked a fight with the Volvo instead? <laughs> this is gonna sound bananas, but I feel like I've met this cow. You have. It's from right over there. <sighs> Whatever, I gotta meet the tow truck. Wait, hold on. The broken horn. It looks like there was something written on it. Max, you know I adore you, but read the room, bud. I'm not really in the mood to stare at photos of my fucked up car all day. Yeah, sorry. Hey, Amanda. I have kind of a weird question. Do you ever have non-weird questions? Occasionally. On a leap year. The whole year or just February 29th? Now who's asking weird questions? <sighs> All right, hit me then. What's the question? Have you had any skulls go missing lately? Wow. Um, that's an extremely specific question. And I can't believe the answer is yes. Our only skull, in fact. I'm dying to know why you ask. Because it somehow ended up in Sophie's windshield. Huh. Uh, wait, what the fuck? Are you serious? Yeah, I'm trying to unravel the mystery. Jesus. A skull? I mean, have they never heard of a brick? When did you notice your cow got rustled? Literally just this morning, before I clocked in. It had to be sometime last night. Did you see anything suspicious? I mean, the Abraxas kids are perpetually suspicious. They took up like six tables last night. Maybe one of them saw something. Hell, maybe one of them stole it. Thanks. I appreciate the info. Anytime, Nancy Drew. Did Lucas throw this through her window? That seems even less likely than the Abraxas kids. Maybe they were in it together? This doesn't make any sense. Fuck, I need to think. What is going on? What if it's not just a prank? What if this Safi is in danger too? I just got her back. At least I know where to start. Lucas Colmenero and the Abraxas Society. Find the skull rustler. Save Safi, hopefully. And my best leads are Lucas Colmenero and the Abraxas Society. Vin's the head honcho of Abraxas. I should cross over and see if he's around. 
Maybe I should do a little digging into Gwen Hunter, too. She was acting pretty odd earlier. And, uh, don't get cute, either. You find it, you bring it right back to me. Well? Go! Find it! Undergrads, <laughs> am I right? Like you were never young. <laughs> young, yes. Dumb, maybe. Insufferable, never. Never is certainly a word. You lose something? Mostly my patience. Okay. Hey, I... Um, yeah, yeah. Cute banter, barely restrained sexual tension, etc. I'm busy, Max. Another time. Wow. Okay. What does Vin have them looking for? Let's say I find your missing patients. Then I wouldn't be busy anymore, would I? Waiting for someone, Diamond? Mm-hmm. Moses. He asked me to help him carry snacks back to the lab, but I guess he forgot. Isn't that kind of menial for a TA? So my job is menial now? I didn't. I'm fucking with you. <laughs> nah, Moses probably just got distracted. Off polishing his new telescope. If it were anyone but him, I'd ask if that was a euphemism. <laughs> Those Abraxas kids are really staring, huh? That one on the left is super into me. I danced with him once, once at a club last week. He's cute. I get it. I guess, if that's your vibe. <laughs> My sights are set a bit higher. Besides, they're on the clock for Vin now. Probably trying to catch me in unabraxas-like behavior. Why are they focused on you? <laughs> Vin's shook. I'm an actual threat to his reign, and he can't abide competition. I think Vin's lost something. It's clearly rattled him. I'll, uh, go ask the goon squad. Good call. So, if you're wondering why those Abraxas kids are eyeballing you, it's because someone stole Finn's phone. Oh, seriously? <laughs> they think it was me? <laughs> the clownery! Of course they do. Of course. <laughs> so, was it you? Here I was, thinking they didn't let artists in residence join Abraxas. I'm not- And yet you're over here digging through my business on Vin's orders? Take it, that's a no. That's correct, Max. I didn't steal Vin Lang's phone. So, are you and Vin... rivals? Enemies? To hear him tell it? Both. And to hear you tell it? Vin is... One of those yappy little purse dogs who swears he's a pit. You don't exactly strike me as the typical, uh, Abraxan. <laughs> In the Vin Lang mold? God, no. But the org itself has potential. If we could just get him away from it. You ever think about being, I don't know, Abraxas boss? <laughs> Queen. <laughs> High priest. President. I would love to. Okay. Cool. Thanks, Diamond. And hey, 
If you talk to Vin again, tell him the only thing I'm taking from him is his crown. So, bad news, I'm not sure who took your phone. Good news, it wasn't Diamond. Holy shit. You figured all that out with, like, zero clues. I just knew who to ask. And how. <laughs> so, about my question. I'm free Tuesday after 7, and I'm partial to a Japanese single malt. That's whiskey? <laughs> yes, but damn, do I have so much to teach you. So your place or mine? Cute, and at least a little tempting. But that's not what I was going to ask. Ooh, no fun. So, someone fucked up Sophie's car. They didn't take anything, but they used a cow skull to do it. Jesus. Max, that's crazy. Is she okay? She's fine. Who would do something like that, though? You mean, who in Abraxas would? I didn't say that. No, but it's what you meant, isn't it? Anytime some nonsense happens on campus, people trip over themselves accusing Abraxas. Vandalism, destruction of property, that's beneath us, Max. We're performers. It certainly seemed performative. And anonymous. What would even be the point? And besides, how do you even get a cow skull through a windshield? Hold on. I didn't say anything about our windshield. Wild, right? Mm. I'd love to keep chatting and freezing my balls off, but I've got a phone to find. And if I need to reach you? I'll end up in my office eventually. Ben, what did you do? Can you give me a second? Surely another minute and a half isn't going to taint the building with my presence. Just leave everything behind, Professor. You won't need any university materials. Yeah, but I do need my car keys if you want me to leave the campus, don't I? Think. You're not to return to Caledon property before the hearing under penalty of law. I know how this works. You don't need to read me my rights. Just doing my job, Professor. That'll go over great in Nuremberg. This is crazy. This is fucking crazy. I told Yasmin already that none of it's true. She knows it's fucking bullshit. Wow. This is all just I guess some something kind of crazy screwy is going thing. down here, too. So this Gwen just got escorted out by security, while Dead World Gwen is having hushed phone calls about the police and trying to break into locked bookcases. I had decided I would hitchhike across the country. If I still wanted to die when I got to the Pacific, then I could do it peacefully. Hell of an opening line, Gwen. Why would Sophie have started acting off on Friday? Something must have happened. Alright, Hacker Max. Let's go. Search. Sent. To Maria. Uh, enter. I thought Gwen helped Sophie set this all up in the first place. Why would she? No, this all has to add up. Somehow. Max.
Sorry. Busy, busy. Um... Need something? Actually, I... Catherine. I've been waiting for an hour. No, just put Robbie on. Oh, sure. I'm only the boy's father. Who fucking cares, right? How can you say... Whoa. Adds a whole new meaning to nuclear family. If Lucas has it out for Safi, there might be something incriminating in that case. Is that an email? Dated December 5th. That's when Safi's car was vandalized. I... Robbie, I got a split. Uh-huh. <laughs> I love you too, buddy. Weird. This yep. Lucas seems you to bet. be on great terms with his family. Hey. Bye. Lucas. Max. Can't imagine it would be much fun to assassinate my character without an audience. Maybe I was a little rough earlier. With everything going on, I just... I'm sorry. Apology accepted. Grief is hard. The trick is not to let it change your character. That's a lot of books. A lot of my book. Signed copies for the Burlington Book Expo. They invited me to deliver the keynote this year. Have you seen the standee they put up of me? It's hard to miss. Yeah. That ought to put butts in the seats, huh? Here's hoping. <laughs> the standards for the expo have really declined over the years. <laughs> We've had a lot of mediocre Yikes. visitors. This dude can talk. It's a shame. How am I going to get that key? years and years and years, people still love the characters. Oh, crap. I forgot. I, what time is it? <laughs> I have to go give something to Moses um, before his class. Good luck with the book expo. The classics are classics for a reason. Oh my goodness, who would do a thing like this? She returns. I take it you've delivered your something to Moses? My something? Right, my something. Yep, something delivered. So, not to be the bearer of bad news, but... Somebody drew horns in a tail on your book expo standee. Are you serious? I just put that... Come on! Some people just have no respect for other people's property. Lucas's famous book. So that explains the cow skull and the snapping turtle. But does that mean he's the one who smashed Sophie's windshield? Sophie? Is Lucas really trying to file a restraining order against Sophie? Does she know about this? I'd better show her. Max? What are you... Lucas, this isn't... You can't tell her. What? You can't send Sophie that photo. Let me explain. Please. Catherine, 
my ex-wife, she called last night, mad as hell, because Robbie, our son, was repeating back to her things I supposedly told him. But I never... I mean, I could never... The shit Robbie says I told him, it... it it makes me sick to think about. Maybe he was making it up? Acting out for attention? No. No. Even if Robbie was the type, this shit, I mean, where would a kid even get ideas like that? He told her, I said he was the reason for the divorce. And somehow that was the least fucked up thing I'm purported to have said. This still doesn't explain the restraining order. I wasn't even there that night, Max. But someone said those things to my son. And you think it was Safi? Listen. Safi once threatened to turn Robbie against me. I know she's capable of it. But Robbie didn't say it was Safi. He said it was you. I can't explain that part yet. Maybe he didn't say that exactly. I don't know. Catherine will let me talk to him. And none of this has anything to do with what happened to Safi's car? Something happened to her car? Never mind. Forget it. Look. I know she's your friend. I know you have no reason to believe me over her, but... Just give me a chance to get this shit in order first without her interfering I just want to make sure my boy never has to hear anything like that again this could all be a lie one big smear campaign against Safi but oh what if it's not okay I deleted it this is between you and her. None of my beeswax. Thank you. If I can't find any evidence to back this up, I don't even know. At least I have time to look. Hey, you found it. Kudos. Max. Sorry to startle, just... That was good luck, finding it so fast. Oh, right. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm, I'm such an idiot. I just left it on my desk. It's been that kind of day. <laughs> yeah. Did something happen to your phone while it was lost? Huh? Oh, um, no, it's fine. I just can't get it unlocked. Fuck. It's gonna lock if I get it wrong again. Wait. You can't remember your own code? I am, like, extremely hungover. You're lucky I can remember who you are. You seem fine out on the quad. I set the code to the year some old fucking magician scientist died. It slipped my mind. Magician scientist? <laughs> Abraxas shit. I must have thought it was cool at the time. Can you just... I don't know. I'm not at my best right now. Sure. Vin is definitely hiding something. Getting into that cell phone is my best shot at finding out what. Too hungover to remember a passcode? Jeez. Good thing I know another Vin. Fucking shit. Oh, Max, <laughs> it's just you. Huh? What can I do you for? What do you mean, it's just me? Well, <laughs> there are a few people, for instance, who I might hesitate getting workday slosh in front of. You, Miss Caulfield, are not one of them. Thanks. I'm flattered. <laughs> Join me. How many of those do you have? 
Ooh, just don't check the recycling. <laughs> Is this about Safi? <sighs> Safi, Safi, Safi. Everything is about Safi nowadays. This isn't about Safi, Max. This is about you and me. Right. Come on. Uh, illicit day drinking with your coworkers is sexy. Be sexy, Max. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'll pass on the sexiness. Ooh. Yes. Hey, uh, Finn? Can I ask for something kind of weird? Ooh, I don't do foot stuff. Damn. <laughs> well, there goes my Friday night. <laughs> Finn does owe me a favor. I have a question. Do you know anything about a dead magician scientist? Jack Parsons? Occultist rocket scientist? Oh, maybe. What about him? Nothing, really. I just... They killed him, you know. Just like JFK. Oh. What, um, year did that happen? Hey. Any more questions and I'll have to charge you. Ugh. <sighs> Right. Of course. I hope this is the right code. Ah, success. I'm sorry, Vin. I know this is a brutal misuse of powers, but I need to know if you had anything to do with this. Food picks, food picks, mirror selfie, mirror selfie. Shirtless mirror selfie. Safi. 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 There's a lot of Safi in here. I didn't get the impression they were close. Oh my god. Who even were you, Safi? I really thought I could help. Poke around a little, figure out who has it out for Safi. Bada bing, bada boom. Case solved, right? Why else would my powers come back? Stupid. Now I have more impossible questions than I had to begin with. Lucas filing a restraining order? Vin and Safi sleeping together? Gwen killing Safi's book deal? I have no idea what any of it means. And the worst part is, I can't even talk to you about any of it. I won't be able to save you. Again. Whatever I do, it's going to turn out worse than I could even imagine. Get the fuck off me! I can't breathe! Everyone stay back. Give him some space. He's having a panic attack or something. I'm not I... fucking crazy. I know what I saw up there. Hey, looky lose. Fuck off already. Can you run and get him some water? You okay, Reggie? <laughs> Am I okay? Fuck. <sighs> After what I just saw up there. Reggie, up where? <sighs> the fucking overlook. Yes, I know. I shouldn't have been up there. I'm a fucking idiot.
It's okay. I'm not mad. I just want to know what you were doing up there. Remember in your seminar how you said we should take photos of things that scare us? <sighs> well, A plus for following directions then. Now, you want to tell me what you saw? I saw myself. Another me. Walking around, working on the puzzle box, the, the one that I gave you earlier. What did this other you want? I wasn't gonna fucking talk to him. I fucking ran, Max. Uh, did you tell anyone what you saw? Did you tell... Loretta, thank you. Can you take Reggie to the infirmary? Sure thing, Miss Caulfield. I'll see you later, yeah? Just make sure he's alright. Thanks, Max. Time to go back up there. I can handle this. He's not just gonna let me by, is he? Hey, Gwen. No, thanks. Not for me, then. Now might be a good time to bring up Sophie's book. Before I came out, I had this boss, a free thinker, who adopted his worldview wholesale from shouty YouTubers. Yikes. And a raging transphobe to boot. They're brainwashing our kids, blah, blah, blah. And of course, I was afraid if I said something said anything, he'd figure me out. But when I was alone, I could conjure the perfect soliloquy to shut him up, make him feel as small as he made me. Isn't there, like, a special word for that? In French, right? <laughs> L'esprit de l'escalier. The wit of the staircase. I take it you're acquainted? Oh, yeah. That one's a Max Caulfield greatest hit. Point is... I've always been able to think of something to say eventually. But what do you say about something like that? Quinn, what is this? Video proof. Allegedly. From Yasmin herself. Trafficking of a controlled substance on campus. Hold on. There's no way Yasmin thinks you were selling drugs. How could she not? That there is security footage of someone who looks like me dealing to students. Someone who looks like you. This is such bullshit. Can't you fight it? Fight it? How? <laughs> that wasn't me, it was my evil twin. <clears throat> no. No. Fuck it. They've already made up their mind. You don't mean that. Thanks for believing in me, Max, but... I'm sick of fighting to prove I deserve to be here. Lucas shouting at his son? Reggie seeing himself here in the other timeline? Is Gwen another victim of doppelganger-itis? Or is she just trying to cover her ass? If I could look at that footage, maybe I could figure it out. Gwen? What are you... What are you doing? Saying goodbye. And... Fuck you! 
to Caledon, to Yasmin, and to feeling powerless. Gotta take catharsis where you can get it. What the fuck? Gwen, listen, if I can just get a look at this footage, I might be able to help. I didn't ask for your help, Max. Jesus, I didn't even ask for your company. I just wanted to get stoned and watch that thing burn. <sighs> Whatever. Do what you want. It's too cold for this shit. Gwen, wait. I need to ask you something. Why did you kill Sophie's book deal? Were you going through my computer? What? No, she... she told me, but not why. Jesus. No. What the fuck? Oh, Miss Caulfield, you, uh, out for a stroll, too? Something like that. By the way, I appreciated your help with Reggie. Oh, that? It was the least I could do. Reggie's a sweetheart. Holy shit, what are those? You can see those? Yeah. Do you think this is what Reggie saw? No. He said he saw himself. Another Reggie. God. That would have messed me up too. I was gonna come up here anyway after the suicide tip, but... Seeing Reggie like that... I don't know. Made it feel... real. Wait. Suicide tip? One of the bee cops let us slip. You run a successful podcast for a few years and you find ways to get people to open up. Speaking of opening up, I got a lead. I could cut you in. One second I'm a source and the next I'm a fellow investigator? <sighs> Sounds like there's strings attached. No, it's not like that. I just, I feel like I kind of owe you after the whole Dr. Hunter thing. Maya Okada, one of Safi's classmates during undergrad. They were friends. Then, Maya died a couple years back. Suicide, apparently. You think it's a pattern? Maybe, yeah. Two promising young writers, both dead, both by their own hand, according to official sources. But Sophie didn't kill herself. Like I said, a pattern, maybe. Explain something to me. Why is this so important to you? Sophie was my friend. Because I hate it when things don't make sense. I have to go.
I got your text. I tried calling, but you didn't pick up. It's cool, Max. Everything's cool. It's not cool, though. It is not. So what's the damage? TLDR version? Pretty sure I'm the number one suspect. What? Why? Besides that being true for most of my life? Well, I did... I did do something. I took Sophie's camera. I know. Moses, why did you- It wasn't like a rational decision. I wasn't thinking. I just- When we found her that night, I saw the camera. And I thought the last picture she took in her life was that selfie of the three of us. And Safi would never want to have that camera, that picture, in the hands of the fucking police. So I brought it back to my office. And then I realized, what the fuck am I doing? That's evidence in a murder case. So I just hid it in there. In my office. Moses! I screwed up. Max. And now I don't know what to do. All right. Maintenance tech is on his way to... to unlock your office, Mr. Murphy. Then I'll just have a look around inside. Shit. I've got to get Sophie's camera out of there. Somehow. Unless you have a key card. Miss Caulfield. Sorry, I don't think we've been introduced, Mr... That's Detective. Detective Vince Alderman with the Vermont State Police. I'll be handling your friend Sophia's case from now on. I'm sorry for your loss, by the way. Moses and I already spoke to police. Several times. Max, it's okay. And I'll be speaking to Mr. Murphy quite a bit more today. Miss Caulfield, I do need you to leave the area for the time being. Will you be okay? Mr. Murphy will be fine. I'll come back. Promise. Okay. Now's my chance to get into Moses' office. Hey, maybe this Moses can help me find the camera. Oh, hey Max. Man, that's annoying. How do you stand it? <laughs> You'd be surprised how quickly you get used to it. I think they call that Stockholm Syndrome. <laughs> uh-huh. So, what's up? Actually, I need to ask you kind of a weird question. My favorite kind. Name it. Okay, Name something in here you wouldn't want, say, Dr. Fia to find. Like, something I keep locked away? Yes, yes, exactly. That would definitely be my electric kettle. <laughs> Maintenance has no idea where I hide that fire hazard. <laughs> As I live and breathe, Moses Murphy, rule breaker. <laughs> rule bender, Max, rule bender. Anyway, <laughs> what's with all the questions? Oh. Moses. Do you need me to hold something, or can I help somehow? Actually, yeah. I need an Allen wrench. On it. Um, got one around here? No, I borrowed one from Carla, but I think she took it back. If you can go grab that from her, I'll owe you. So I found this guy named Allen, but he didn't know anything about a wrench. No, Max, not literally Allen. It's... Oh. 
You are a lifesaver, Max. Dad joke aside. I'll never apologize for my dad jokes. And you're welcome. Mural goes here. What's that about? Safi's baby. She had the bright idea that we should draw the Gemini twins up there. I didn't know you had an artistic side. Long dormant. Comes with being the only scientist in a family of artsy-fartsy types. Anyway, I'm sure we'll get to it at some point. We have all the time in the world. So, did you want some tea? Um, yeah, if you don't mind. W with the contraband kettle, right? Just give me just a second. Sure. Damn. Will it distract you if I talk? Should be fine. What's up? Another strange question. Um, you don't have a safe in here, do you? The locking kind? No. Are there non-locking safes? Well, for a second, I thought you were asking about the star safe. S-A-I-P-H. There's a star called safe. Sure is. It's a part of the Orion constellation. What the? You've been popcorned. <laughs> Engineering wants a prank war. I'm trying not to sink to their level. <laughs> Gonna go clean this out. The mural. Moses must have projected some stars to use as a guide. Moses said safe is part of Orion. Maybe Orion was projected on the wall that night. I think I got it. So if this is Orion, then safe is... Boom. Good job finding safe, Max. Why, thank you, Max. Now then. No, no, no! Here goes. What the hell? Hey! Is someone down there? Stupid telescope! Why couldn't Moses have put you together in this timeline? Fuck. That's... That's new. Yes!
Holy shit. The telescope and all the parts switched places. Gotta run. Sorry, I... I'll text you. Yo... What?! Moses. Miss Caulfield, can I speak with you for a minute? You should go. Please, have a seat. I just wanted you to have a chance to talk to me alone. Because Miss Llewellyn was a close friend of yours. We have a sensitive situation. We know Miss Llewellyn's camera was taken by someone closely linked to her death. Now, I'm pretty certain I know who took it and why. Maybe you've even guessed my thinking. But if we're going to make any progress on your friend's case, that's not enough. Therefore, I'm asking you if you have or come by any information about this person or where they've taken the camera, can I trust you to let me know? Miss Caulfield. Sure, of course. If I notice anything, I'll let you know. I'm glad to hear it. And I'm sure Dr. Fayed would be grateful as well. Now that is my direct number. No detail is too small to share. You're, you're not bothering me. You're helping your friend's case. Thanks again for your time, Miss Caulfield. Have a good day. Moses, I want to show you something. We don't have to talk about. Look. How? Okay, let's download Safi's photos onto your computer, yeah? Or... You go ahead. I need a minute to get my thoughts in order. I'll join you soon. Okay. Wait, is that... Wilder Beasts Than These by Lucas Colmenero. Might as well add it to my collection of so-called clues. Okay, Max. Let's see what we've got. I probably shouldn't leave all this out in the open. Maybe if I step away for a bit, these will all make sense later.
Moses, you okay? Is it weird that I'm low-key nervous about seeing Safi's, you know, final pictures? Far from it. Safi was special to us, to everyone. But I meant, are you okay, okay? I've been better. I apologize for what I said to that detective. You have to know I wasn't being serious. I was only trying to- Take the easy way? It's nice when you have that option. You know what? It's fine. It's fine. Hey, look. Maybe seeing Safi again will help clear the air. Hard to believe that would be the last time we were all together. That's the truth. What a crew we were. Hey, look. She took one more photo. Sneaky girl. What is this? Max, you... You killed her? What? No! Of course not! So that... That... It's Photoshop! A deep fake, maybe. I don't know. You sold me out to Alderman. You were covering for yourself. No, Moses. Please, let me explain. Or try to. Well? There's another timeline. Where Sophie's alive. I've been there, and I've seen her. Wait! I can prove it to you! You stay the fuck away from me! Oh, how is it already morning? This makes about as much sense as it did last night. Let's take a look at the evidence for the kajillion time. I've got to be missing something. Hold on. She's looking right at the camera, like she knows it's there. Does she want to get caught? 
Or is this another doppelganger? Is that me? Did I go back in time and do that? It doesn't make any sense. And I would never hurt Safi. Not on purpose. That isn't me. It can't be. Coffee. Coffee is friend. Get coffee now. No matter how much I stare at you, he refused to make sense. Moses? Hello, Miss Caulfield. Oh, fuck. Can I come in? The photo. If he sees that. I have some questions for you. Of course, I... I can answer your questions right here. I knew you'd be a valuable resource. There are just a few details I'm struggling to make sense of. Go ahead. Arcadia Bay. Where you went to high school, right? Yes. A beautiful town with a surprisingly violent story to tell. Not unlike... Arcadia Bay and Safi are not connected. A small town with a curious number of murders. And now, Safi, Llewellyn, Fayed, murdered in a small town? What are the odds? What do you think, Miss Caulfield? Are you the one who's unlucky? Or is it just everyone who ever meets you? Just my shit luck, I guess. Oh, hard life, isn't it? Detective, I'm not answering any more of his questions. What the fuck happened to the telescope, Maxine? I... I don't even know what you're talking about. Someone was in the office with me. I could hear them. I saw Moses in the hallway, but I didn't see you. All right, enough. We're not getting anywhere. This case has been abnormal. From the beginning. None of the evidence makes any sense. At least that's something we can agree on. But I know why now. Somehow, all this death leads to you. That's not true. He saw it. He saw the photo. Stupid, Max. Stupid, stupid. What the hell do I do now? None of this makes any sense. What happened that night? Why the fuck am I in this picture? The old me would have just... Jumped back in time to the moment this photo was taken. Maybe...
Maybe I still could? That's what it feels like to capture the perfect photo. No. Feels good. Final. Sophie. Hmm. It's here too. But there wasn't a storm the day Sophie died. Maybe we are cursed. You, me, and Maya. Safi, wait. Who is Maya? What was she talking about? <sighs> Stop stalling, Max. I don't understand. What do you want from me? Pull the trigger. Moses, you were right. I don't know how, but you were. I have to tell him. Everything. What if he doesn't come? I couldn't blame him. I killed his best friend. What does that say about me? That I... Any version of me... Could do something like that? Diamond knows where I am, and who I'm meeting. So don't do anything stupid. I deserved that. You wanted to talk. So talk. Tell me the truth. Tell me why you did it. I don't think I've actually done it yet. 
I think it was a future version of me. Moses, wait! I asked you to come here so I could show you proof. Something is weird about this place. Look! These flowers. What are the odds they'd bloom in the middle of winter? Exactly in the shape of Sophie's body? Five minutes and then I leave. Okay. So, what if I told you there's this other timeline where Sophie is alive and I can travel between this timeline and that one? Four minutes. I know, I know that it sounds insane. But I can show you. I, I'll, I'll hop from this timeline to the other. You'll see me poof, disappear. Yeah, to some magical fantasy world where you didn't kill Safi, right? It's not a fantasy world. It's connected to this one. If I try to, I can even see the other one from here. Wait, you can see across them? And here, too. So if you disappear or whatever, and I do something while you're gone... I can tell you what it was when I come back. And then... you'll believe me? It'd be a start. Okay. Okay, deal. Max? Holy shit. Holy shit. Holy shit! I'm sorry if I upset you. Upset me? Are you kidding? You did something physics says should be impossible. Is impossible. So you... You believe me? Yes. And... No. You disappeared. Max, literally. I completely forgot to do anything. Okay. Let's try it again. What did I do when you were away? And then you said, Machine Angel Psychic Storm. Um. Yep. <laughs> That's what I did. Wow. I mean. Yeah. Near as I can tell, Sophie's death is where the timeline split. I think her absence is the only difference between the two. I guess that could be a big enough event to lead to... You okay? So Safi's alive over there, huh? She is. And she's... Don't say happy. We both know that would be a lie. You're right. When you see her again, can you give her something for me? The bottle cap? How did you...? Safi slipped it back to me that night. Found it in my equipment. When you give that to her, tell her... Tell her to stay safe, Max. Make her swear to it. I will. Promise. But I think she's going to need our help. What do you mean? When I was a teenager, I could... Rewind time. Just... Raise my hand and undo everything that had just been done. Okay. And if I had a photo... I could go back even farther. Wait. Could. Past tense? I know it sounds like it must have been amazing. But, Moses, the things I caused to happen, just having a power doesn't necessarily give you mastery over it. One of many lessons gleaned from X-Men comics. The point is, I stopped using it, and 
Now it barely works. Okay, but there's a photo of you from that night. With a gun. You're saying that could be a future you? Even though you can't do that anymore? This morning I tried rewinding into that photo. It felt like trying to flex an atrophied muscle. Nothing made sense. But I was there. In the past. Safi mentioned Maya. And... Oh, God. The storm. Max? Look. There's a timeline where, for some reason, I shot Safi. This one. And there's a timeline where I didn't. I feel like, intentionally or not, these two worlds exist because of a decision I'm going to have to make. Holy shit. Moses, I've been here before. When I could rewind, it broke time. People got hurt. I can't let what happened in Arcadia Bay happen here too. First look at the crime scene is inconclusive. I'll need some further insight into Miss Llewellyn Thayet's mental state. Not to call a shot prematurely, but if this isn't suicide, I'd put money on a Mr. Moses Murphy, friend of the deceased, being the perp. I need to introduce myself to Mr. Murphy. He's talking like he hasn't already met you. Like he's... Alderman from yesterday. An Alderman that already happened? Max, this is really bad. Time isn't supposed to act this way. It appears something was removed from her person post-mortem. Maybe the camera her mother mentioned. We need to get the hell out of it. <gasps> I fucking knew it. Returning to the scene of the crime? Amateur hour shit. How'd I let a couple of small-time fuck-ups like you get under my skin? You're not making any sense. You want to talk about sense? Nothing about about you makes sense. Telescopes don't put themselves together. Evidence doesn't disappear. You're going to pay for what you've done, Maxine Caulfield. And I'm here to collect. Oh, oh, oh. 
Max, you have to let go! 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 Saved him, Moses. I could have saved him. No, you couldn't have. Listen to me, Max. This place ate a man. Moses, your hair. I told you. There's always a cost. It started with Safi. Maybe if we can figure out why you... why she died, then maybe we can prevent all of this. That's what I've been trying to do. The whole day I've been talking to people and spying on them and taking their stuff. Hey. Safi mentioned Maya, right? When you rewound? Right. What do you think Maya has to do with all this? No idea. Maya was before my time. But... Gwen Hunter might know more than me. She was Safi's mentor during all that mess. Gwen. Gotta go talk to Gwen. I'm still shaking. Alderman was, and then he just wasn't. And Moses and I were standing so close. But I'm here now. I'm here. I'm all right. Is that Sophie's book? Hey, Gwen. Max. No conversations for you to conveniently overhear this time. Sorry to disappoint. Actually, I need to talk to you about Safi. No reason to beat around the bush. I know you got Safi's book deal canceled. Shit. What I don't understand is why. You really have a knack for learning shit you're not supposed to know, you know that? So I've been told. <laughs> well then. No use fighting the inevitable. What do you want to know? That book meant the world to Safi. You had to know that losing it would break her heart. Of course I did. I busted my ass to help Safi get that deal in the first place. Introduced her to my agent, my publisher, lobbied for her. I don't regret it. That book was good. This keeps getting weirder and weirder. Let me get this straight. You helped Safi get the deal, and then you killed it? If it had to be done, it made sense for me to do it. You know, I brought you into this world, etc. So, what did you tell the publisher that made them nix the deal? I... I told them there was incendiary content in the book. Which was true. It would have harmed a lot of people. Safi included. Safi's book was incendiary? How? What was it about? You really don't have an off switch, do you? How much did Safi tell you about Maya Okada? Gwen's bringing up Maya? Time to pay attention. Not a lot. I know they were friends. <laughs> Understatement of the year. The two of them were like the creepy twins in The Shining. You never saw one without the other. And that... 
Ben Lang kid. He used to follow the two of them around like a lost puppy. But then... Maya took her own life. And that's what Safi wrote about in her book? Maya's death and everything around it. Her anger at her mom for even thinking of Caledon when she'd just lost a soulmate. Ultimately, I realized it wasn't worth putting Yasmin and Safi through all that again. I made a call. I don't know if it was the right one, but it's the one I made. Sounds like Yasmin can tell me more about Maya. I'll have to be tactful. One last thing. Is that Safi's manuscript? Oh, part of it, why? Can I read it? No. That's where I draw the line. I don't trust you not to dig up old graves. Jesus. I've spilled too much already. Let's call this conversation over. Huh? Shit. Now I'm even more convinced there's something important in that manuscript. Gotcha. Would you mind closing it behind you, Max? Hi, Yasmin. Maxine. How are you? I was worried after your nosebleed yesterday. Like I said, I get those all the time. Still, be careful. Small symptoms can be signs of larger problems. A toothache can mean a heart attack. I'm gonna try not to think about that too hard. <laughs> I was hoping we could talk. Come, sit. I heard about what happened to Dr. Hunter. Yes. Would you really fire her? That depends on the findings of the committee. It's out of my hands now. You look like you've won the day. Coffee's that good? <laughs> Our ratings are. Kaladin is once again one of the top universities in the country. The coffee is just... so-so. Have you seen Sophie today? No. We're meeting later this afternoon. I can tell her you were looking for her. Did Sophie tell you her book deal was cancelled? What? No. How... How, uh, was she when she found out? Not sure, but I bet she was devastated. Oh, Sophia. I'll be sure to talk to her about this. I wanted to ask you about something. Have you heard of a student named Maya Okada? Of course. She took her own life. Four years ago. A horrible tragedy. I think... I think Sophie's book was cancelled because it was about Maya. Impossible. Safia didn't even know Maya. Did Yasmin just lie to me? Do I call her out? She'll be pissed, but I can cut straight to the point. Or should I go along with it and see what narrative she's trying to spin? Uh, of course. I don't know why I thought they knew each other. It's just... What? There's this rumor that something happened with Maya before she died. I don't want to speak ill of the dead, but... Ms. Okada appears to have caused herself a great deal of pain. So, she had a bad reputation. 
No wonder you didn't want her and Safi associated with each other. <laughs> exactly. Strange. I really thought Vin's statement closed the matter. Shady cow skull throwing Vin is involved? Enough ancient history. I have a favor to ask. Safia's been distant lately. Could you... keep an eye on her for me? Are you sure that I'm the best person to... Yes. Because she trusts you. And I trust you. I... Yeah. Sure. I'll look out for her. Thank you, Maxine. Oh, the time. Let's do lunch again. Somewhere with more atmosphere than the other place. That was... odd. What did she mean by Vin's statement? Maybe I'd better talk to Vin myself. Hey, sport! Were you just gonna walk past me without saying hello? Sport? Yeah. I'm trying out middle-aged white dad slang nowadays. Is it working? <laughs> sure. What are you doing on campus? Just going on a coffee run. But your coffee's better at the turtle. This one tastes like ass. Enough about me. What are you doing here? I work here. No, no. I mean... I just saw you talking to President Fayad. What were you talking about? I was asking her about Safi and her relationship with a student named Maya Okada. Oh. Why? It's kind of a long story, but it's for something important. This guy's always falling for you, isn't it? <laughs> you have no idea. Well, I'll leave you to your something important. <laughs> See you around, tiger. See you, Amanda. Hey, Vin. Um, y Yasmin's out right now. Sorry to disappoint. Unless you're here for me. In which case, I'll do my best to be of service. Do you talk like this to everyone who comes near Yasmin's office? <laughs> I've never met a pissed off board member I can't defang with a little eyebrow action. How long have you worked in the president's office? Right after graduation. The summer stock festivals wept because they couldn't have me. But Kahuna needed me right away. I thought you might have worked here when you were still a student. <laughs> You know, back when Maya Okada went here. Wow. You know Maya's name. Am I supposed to collapse under the weight of that revelation? You're supposed to talk to me like a human being about what happened with her. What do you need me for, super sleuth? You're obviously capable of digging up ancient gossip on your own. Now, if you'll excuse me... Gwen's hearing completely scrambled Kahuna's schedule. No casual chats about Maya. Noted. Don't mind us, Max. We were just finishing up. Vin, Abraxas needs new blood. You mean you need another line on your resume. Hold up. Can we talk? I just want to ask you about Maya. Please. I can't handle the both of you. I'm trying to exploit my weak spots. Did I just witness a failed crown snatching? <laughs> you gotta seize the opportunities when you can. And hey, it almost worked. Speaking of which, what's the deal with Maya? Isn't she the undergrad who died a while ago? That's her? Why, do you know anything? Just that Vin looks like he bit into a lemon anytime someone says her name. So Maya makes Vin uncomfortable, huh? Let's find out why. 
There's going to be a debate at the beginning of next semester. A special little pissing match for Vin and me. Vin usually runs for Abraxas president unopposed. But if I had the right piece of dirt, I bet I could make him step down. If I give her something juicy and then go to the other timeline, maybe I can listen in on Diamond confronting Vin? Vin gave a statement where he said Maya had mental health problems, which may have been true, but I think there's more. What I'm saying is, someone let Maya down really badly. I don't get it. Were Maya and Vin friends or something? I'm not sure, but they definitely knew each other. And Vin gave a statement about her death. What a pompous little piece of shit. Just try not to go too hard on him, okay? He's not in the greatest place. Relax. I'm not Loretta. Can you do me a favor? Wait until I get out of here to bring this up with him. You got it. I won't jeopardize your getaway. I know. I know you're busy. Give me just a minute of your time. This better be worth it. Yasmin gave you this job as a favor, didn't she? For talking to a reporter who was writing about Maya's death? Didn't your parents ever teach you to not bring up people's dead friends for no reason? There is a reason. I promise. Please, enlighten me. It might not make a lot of sense, but I'm trying to help someone. And that means learning about Maya. Maya's been dead. For years now. She can't help you or anyone else. Just go with me for a second, okay? All right. You said in your statement that Maya was troubled. But that wasn't true, was it? Finn, what really happened? Ask Lucas Colmanero. It all started in his class. He has Maya's blood on his hands. You're not saying Lucas... Killed her? Not literally, but... The man deserves every misfortune that befalls him. Like, for example... If Safi suspected him of tossing a cow skull through her windshield? No more free secrets. I have a reputation to protect. I guess I could reveal one of the other secrets I know. The thing about Gwen selling hard drugs? That wasn't her. She was framed. Max, I get that you like Dr. Hunter. We all do, but there's video evidence. I saw the footage. Gwen smiles at the camera. Like she wanted to get caught. I'm not going to ask how you got your hands on confidential material from an official school investigation. Good, because I'm not telling you. All right. So was the cow skull you or not? <sighs> yes. So... Why? I mean, you've seen a pissed off Safi before. She's like a force of nature. When I heard her book got squashed, I seized an opportunity to aim her at a deserving target. So you were what? Protecting Gwen? That's as much as you get. And now I really do have to get back to work. But, Caulfield, whatever the real reason is, for you digging up old history. Be respectful to Maya. She suffered enough while she was alive. Max, don't need to knock. 
My door's always open. Come on in. I want to show you something. What did you want to show me? Take a look at that. It's a temporary one. I bought myself two weeks to find some solid evidence. I know you may not be thrilled. Safi's your friend. But it's giving me a lot of peace of mind, so... Thank you. You don't have to thank me. It was none of my business. Shouldn't have been looking through your stuff in the first place. I don't disagree, but no harm done. But I'm sure that's not why you came to my office. How can I help you, Max? I don't mean to pry, but I couldn't help seeing that email from your agent. Oh, no worries. It's an incredible feeling. Getting chosen for the big screen? About time, right? <laughs> uh, just don't tell people yet. Okay, Max? These sorts of things, they have to be announced properly. I'm thinking at Krampus. Krampus? Probably. I have a call with my agent later. I'll get the details then. How's Robbie doing? Still angry with me, but we're making progress. I canceled a few things to go to his Taekwondo match. I think it made him happy. Why aren't you at that Burlington book event? The book expo? I pulled out. Didn't seem important, what with everything happening to Robbie and all this. I was wondering, what can you tell me about Maya Okada? Why do you ask? I don't really know much about her, but I heard she was your student. I'm just curious is all. What happened to Maya was a tragedy. A tragedy I really don't like to talk about. So I'm afraid you'll have to whet your curiosity somewhere else. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have a phone call to take with my agent, so if you could see yourself out. Sure. That's a lot of junk. But maybe what I need is somewhere in there. That's not what I was expecting. Come on, there's gotta be a copy in here. Maybe ten of them. Vin was right. Lucas does have blood on his hands. I have to talk to Safi. Safi, hey. Stay strong, Habibti. You know where to find me. Is something wrong? Oh. You want to talk to me now? I've got nothing to say to you. Sophie, I- What? Did you spread my business to someone else? Dig up a couple more clues? Shit. She knows I've been asking questions. I'm not sure who you've been talking to, but I have a good reason. Oh, you have a good reason. Well, in that case, what's your good reason, Max? I'm worried about you. 
I think there might be someone that means you harm. <laughs> yeah. Me too. I don't have the energy for this. I think you should leave me alone for a while. Maybe a long while. I spent so many nights like this when I was on the road. Diners, bars, hotels. I liked being alone then. At least, I think I did. Joyce still treats me like her second daughter, even after everything. Sometimes it feels like she pins the hope she had for Chloe on me. The least I could do is make her proud. I can't just sit here feeling sorry for myself. I need some company. Hey, sport. Working hard or hardly working? Sport? You cosplaying as a boomer dad today? Hey, you said it first. I doubt it. An old sport is more my style anyway. It's finals week, isn't it? Everyone that's come in here lately has that same frazzled look. A drink to ease your troubles. Shot, please. Are we wanting a gasoline on fire flavor experience? Or a sickly sweet, rated grandma's liquor cabinet kind of taste. Let's do the gasoline. I want to burn my throat off. Shitty mezcal? All of the smoke, none of the dip. Taste buds are overrated. How are we feeling now? Like, like I keep thinking I've hit rock bottom, but then I realize I'm still falling. <laughs> you are such a disaster. God, I certainly have a type. You need more than a drink. Let's hang. Don't you have a bar to tend? We don't need to leave the turtle to have fun. Remember that date we were gonna go on? What do you say we have that date now? What are we gonna do? Kidnap the members of Revenge Horse and force them to play here? As if. Revenge Horse only plays house shows. We might not be able to go to a show for real, but we can always pretend. I guess? Bitch, shut your dumb eyes. Okay. We pull up to my buddy Eddie's house. We call it the rat hole. Best house shows in Lakeport. Revenge Horse goes on at 11, but at the rat hole, that means midnight. The place is packed. We can smell Granite Joe smoking a blunt out back. And Eddie waves to us from a table full of scary merch. Sorry, did you say someone called Granite Joe is out back smoking up? 
I take you to meet Granite Joe. Dude's a sweetheart. Very generous with his blunts. And do you partake? I am an adult taxpayer, so yes. And then I hand the blunt to you. Well, I don't want to be rude. I take a puff and pass it back to Granite Joe. You try to, but Granite Joe has wandered off. You now have one blunt. Hey, do I hear the band doing a sound check downstairs? Ahead of schedule? Let's check it out. <laughs> Careful, the stairs are steep. <laughs> Revenge Horse opens with my favorite song. Fuck, Mary kill. And a mosh pit opens in the smoky dark in front of the stage. Let's thrash, Chaka Thrash. Okay. Let's pretend you said something normal, but basically that. <laughs> we throw ourselves into the crowd. probably immediately get a black eye. Oh, then I fight us away back to the bar and get you an ice pack. <sighs> I only need one eye to see the show anyway. <laughs> hey, the singer, is she a stage diver? I mean, in so much as you can call a thrifted area rug a stage, sure. <laughs> she sets her guitar down and takes a running leap towards the crowd. It all happened so fast, nobody has time to catch her. <sighs> Shit. I hope you're prepared for what happens next. Don't tell me that the singer, that she... Stone cold dead on the floor. But don't worry, this is how she would have wanted to go out. Before we leave, we each receive an invitation to her Viking funeral. That was the wildest show I have ever seen. <laughs> or like, talked about. Told you it'd be worth it. And you're walking away with, let's see, one half-smoked blunt, some bruises from moshing, and an invitation to a Viking funeral. <laughs> If that was just a dry run, imagine what the real Revenge Horse show is going to be like. It's been a buck wild day, but that made me feel like, I don't know, maybe tomorrow my existence won't make things worse for everyone around me. You keep saying that, about your day. What happened? Why are you so nice to me? Shit. <laughs> Doing it again. My therapist says I latch onto people too quickly. But what am I supposed to do when I gel with someone? Act like a bitch? Bitchy women are a huge turn on, so. Oh? Good to know. Because I can be vicious. <sighs> Look, what can I say? I have a thing for emotionally unavailable women. You're not saying I'm... You're literally in my bar talking about yourself like you're a Category 5 hurricane. Um. 
Sorry, did I do something wrong? No, no. I really, really want to kiss you. Um, it's just that I, like I said, I tend to go for women who don't feel the same way about me. And I need to know I'm not just projecting. So, you kiss me first. I'm a sucker for a good dare. But I'm also very polite. So, you go first. Are you trying to break me? Max Caulfield, you are the worst. Fuck. you get off? About an hour. Uh, but before we do anything else, maybe we should sleep on it? In my bed? <laughs> as much as I'd like that, um, I'd like to be able to tell my therapist I made good choices this week. You are a very smart woman. <laughs> to be continued. Okay. Uh, for now, I I have to get back to it. Um. <laughs> hey, Max. Oh, fuck. That's about the level of greeting I'm expecting at this point. Thank you. You okay? Everything's fine. She fell in love with the wrong person. Reggie! What happened to the bro code? Max is a bro. You ever have a thing for the wrong person? Show me someone who hasn't? And I'll show you a liar. Or however that saying goes. That's deep, Max. I didn't think I wanted anybody before. Reggie says I should move on, and he's right. I just... I haven't felt this way about anyone, ever. I don't know if I will again. Give yourself some time. Life has a way of surprising us. Really hope you're right. Hey, Gwen. Oh, Jesus Christ, here we go. I'm sorry to bother you, but... I really think you should take a look at the footage. It's weird. Like, game-changingly weird. I think you should fight this. I'll look into it. Anything else? Oh, well, that's all. Um, I hope. Just take care. Come here often? <laughs> Probably too often. Join me? Help yourself. <laughs> oh. 
Rough day? Everybody hates me. I'm annoying. I'm bothering to everyone. My colleagues, Moses, Tuffy. Tuffy used to get pissed at me too. Are you crazy? Safi was obsessed with you. She would talk about you all the time. I was always jealous. I mean, um... Don't hurt yourself. I know about you and Safi. Oh. Well... I should have told you. There's been a lot going on. And it's not like we're besties or anything. I wasn't her boyfriend or anything. And it ended a while ago, but... I guess I had this idea that we'd make up. Eventually. <laughs> Any other deep, dark secrets you've disinterred from my past? I know what happened to Maya. <laughs> Christ, Max! I was joking! And I know what you did after she died. I was young, I was an asshole, and I didn't want to end up working at my parents' liquor store until I shriveled up and died. Does the past version of you ever feel like, I don't know, an alien? Like, the shit that person cared about is so worthless, you can't even remember being them? That sounds like a shitty spot to be in. Especially right out of undergrad. Right? Here I was with the chance to be uh, salaried, health insured, even fucking 401 k would And all I had to do was talk shit. Which I'm good at. Sorry to bring down the vibes. <laughs> I need to be more drunk. See, you made yourself right at home. I blame Vin. So, you hitting that? What? No. I mean, we were talking, and then Sophie happened. And I guess Amanda didn't feel like I could hack it. Oh. That's... kind of whack? She's probably right. She's cute, but a, a little too principled for me, even discounting her utter lack of interest in my gender. Hey, principles can be hot. Uh huh. I'm serious. I will write you an essay. Passion? It's very sexy. No, no, you're right. Passion is sexy. Like your buddy. The big guy with the telescopes. Moses? Once, I asked him how his day was going, and he explained to me the double slit experiment. It was weirdly hot. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. What, you're saying you wouldn't? He's my friend! And this would be extremely friendly. Moses, smash or pass? He's a friend. It'd be too weird. More for me. I'll say this for Caledon. It's got a high ratio of fuckable faculty. <laughs> Dr. Hunter, for instance. Interested? Let's just say I was... A little disappointed when I found out she had a wife. You never know. Her wife could be down too. 
<laughs> Professor Colmanero. No. He sucks. Does he now? You suck. <laughs> hey, I'm just I'm just trying to think of people we both know. Lucas, smash or pass? Pass. He's a dick. <laughs> and yet, I've put up with worse for less. <laughs> uh, hold up. This is smash or pass, not have a healthy, long-term relationship in two and a half kids or pass. I'm not asking if you want to marry them, just... Just... Oh. <laughs> exactly. Okay, my turn. Yes, mean. Now that's just unfair. Why? <laughs> because then I'd have to admit just how hot I find authority figures. <laughs> I am incredibly unshocked. Yeah? Yeah. Fine. My turn again. And see, who do we both know? Uh -huh. No. My students are off limits. Well, as I am one at Caledon and two not one of your students, which appear to be your two standards. Come on. So, what about me, Miss Caulfield? Where do I fall on the binary? Whatever, I'm drunk. Wow. Oh, damn. Um, good answer. Thanks, Finn. Oh. I really... Just thanks. Do you have to go? Would you be willing to believe I need to go save the world? Not as a general rule. But who knows with you, Max Caulfield. <laughs> Take it easy, Max. Turn to your regularly scheduled fuckery. Oh, God. This is bad.
Oh shit, it's right. You're... You're me. I wish I could tell you there's a reasonable explanation for that. Wait! I haven't lost her. What? Now what? Are you here to help me with Sophie? Sophie? God, Max, you're standing here looking at your own self, and still your focus is on Sophie. I don't understand. Why were you in my house? What are you looking for? What are you looking for? All that stuff in your dark room about Lucas, about Vin, about Gwen? Shit you have no reason to know about or care about. That's not true. I'm trying to help Sophie. Of course you were. God, I'm so sick of people trying to help. Stop, please. We can't touch each other. I've seen what happens. Please, trust me. Trust you? Go fuck yourself, Max. No! Uh!
fuck was that, Supermax? Come on. Let's get you warm. I always said you were too soft for academia. You're, um, getting lake water on your sofa. Shit. Right. Uh, I should change. Um, be right back. So. You're what happened a shapeshifter. On the you have You've powers? got powers? Here, person with the bottle cap has to answer a question. Ah, huh. you clever little minx, you. <laughs> hmm. Deal. Let's play. How long have you had your power? Uh, since high school? Right after dad left. Mom was broken. And the way she dealt with being broken was to make sure I wasn't. That was a project. Proof that she didn't need him to do something right. That's a lot to put on a kid. Yeah, don't I know it. God, I remember wishing <laughs> so much I could just be the way she wanted me, magically, instead of struggling all the time and still falling short. Then I started wishing I could be someone else entirely. Someone who didn't have to carry all that weight then, one day, I could. So, are you like that girl in Frozen? Ice powers and musical numbers. No. There's a world parallel to this one that I can access. I am um, switched that world's icy lake with our broken one. Hang on. Parallel world? It's the same as this one. Except... I... killed you. Or I... 
Will. What the fuck are you talking about? At some point in the future, I think I'm going to travel back to the moment you took this photo and shoot you. Uh, unless I can figure out why and find a way to change things in the present. Let's come back to this. Give me the bottle cap. Can you turn into anybody? Uh, only if I've met them IRL. Trying to guess who I've been? Go ahead. I'll answer those for free. That was you impersonating Gwen and dealing drugs to students. Not like she didn't deserve it. Your book deal. When I got the news, it was canceled. She was the first person I called. She said she didn't know anything about it. When she started ignoring my texts, I knew it was mask off time. Hell, I started to think you were in on it too. That's why I came tonight. To see what you were hiding. Why didn't you tell me you knew Gwen killed it? I wanted to wait till I got more information. You've got my number, Max. <laughs> we could have shared intel. Seriously, Max, I thought you were covering for Gwen. I thought I couldn't trust you anymore. But actually, I was just trying to prevent your murder in another timeline. Yeah, that's <laughs> honestly a relief. <laughs> Did you change into Lucas and ruin things with his son? I thought Lucas was involved in canceling my book. I gave him a chance to come clean. He didn't. Robbie had nothing to do with his dad's shitty actions, though. I weighed how best to hurt Lucas. Robbie was the only way. I don't know. So, that was actually you trying to get into Vin's phone. Mmm. If anyone deserves an acting award, it's me. I thought he was just trying to get rid of anything tying him to the cow skull fiasco. So that was him. Guess he's still not over me. Nothing says, take me back, like, vandalism. Kids don't spray paint their names in hearts anymore. You know, I hung out with Vin last night. We, um... We got drunk and played Smasher Pass. Oh, please tell me you smashed me, Max. It was in the timeline where you're gone. And smashing the dead is considered gauche. There was a moment talking to Amanda today that felt a little... different. Look, you were snooping around. I needed to know why. It was... Self-defense. Your impression of Amanda? <laughs> I have some notes. 
<laughs> Good enough to fool most people. I thought you were most people. I guess I should let you ask me something now. <sighs> My mom, she can wait. So, you said something about traveling back to a moment? Can you clarify? The truth is, in my teens, I could rewind time. Shit. Time travel too? You're really white privileged into all the cool powers. You'd think so. But rewinding was too easy to abuse. Knowing you can undo anything makes choice seem irrelevant. Oh, the things I would undo, the bad sex I would unhave, the amazing sex I'd rehab. <laughs> Until you learn that to move forward, you can only choose one path. And you have to live with it. My turn again, huh? <laughs> How exactly do you shapeshift? It's got something to do with perception. Manipulating how others see me and hear me. Like right now, I can kind of feel the part of your brain that senses me. And if I nudge it... Wow. Yup. Still creepy. Are the teens using creepy to mean awesome nowadays? Whoa. It's like she walked across my brain for a second. All right, so you used to time travel, and now you can switch timelines? What, what changed? You know that blue-haired girl? That was my fault. She died, shot and bleeding out on the floor of our high school bathroom. All alone. All alone except for me. The one person who could have helped her. Stuck powerless behind a stall a few feet away. Shit, Max. I saw the article in your memories box. You can't blame yourself. <laughs> I can't. My powers created a storm. Literally, I mean. And I had a choice. Save my town or save her. I chose Arcadia Bay. I didn't try to rewind again for years. Not until I got here. When other you died, I learned that my powers had changed. That I had.
By the way, Moses on the other side gave me that bottle cap to give to you. Moses knows? Well, not everything. He knows about me and you being alive. Not the shape changing, obviously. He told me to tell you to stay safe. I'm trying. I should probably tell you about Maya. Maya Okada was my best friend. God, we were such a pair. <laughs> she was so fucking smart, dude, and the best writer I've ever known. What Lucas did to her, stealing her work, it essentially killed her. And as incandescently angry as I am at Lucas, at everyone, I'm so much angrier at myself. God, I, I told her to stay quiet about it. <laughs> My silence catapulted Lucas' fucking Colmenero to literary stardom and sent Maya to an early grave. You said you were mad at everyone about it. Still am. Does that include your mom? She told me to tell Maya to keep quiet, and she protected Lucas. We've talked it through a little since then. I don't hold it against her. Not really. Vin's statement. Bingo. He was supposed to be Maya's friend. But Caledon said jump. At least I have the humanity to regret asking how high. Including Gwen? Gwen was the one who said to put my anger into poetry. That poetry became all the daughters we don't talk about. Your book? Yep. And at the 11th hour, she got cold feet. I'm hazy on the connection between all this and your book. Every piece in that collection was about Maya. Or about what happened to her. Guess I told it a little too clearly. And when Gwen showed her true colors and pulled the plug on the book, I had to find some other path to vindication. Gwen, Lucas, Finn, your revenge tour. My justice tour. Safi, what if... What if that justice tour goes wrong? What if it spirals out of control? What if eventually it's the reason I... What? This photo? That I don't remember taking? Dude, do you even own a gun? No, but... Great! Don't buy a gun. Problem solved. I don't understand how you can be so chill about this. I don't understand how you could be such a bummer about it. Max, we have fucking superpowers. You keep talking like you're cursed, but you're not. You're in control. You and me, we're more in control than most people. Hey, look at me. Tell me honestly. Do you really think that you're capable of hurting me like that? No. I don't think so. Or maybe... I hope not. To start, <laughs> I trust you, Max Caulfield. Enough for both of us. But, Sophie, we can't just cross our fingers. We have to do something. What do you propose? Lucas. Justice for Maya. You wrote a whole book about it. And that book is dead. 
book is. You aren't. I can still expose Lucas. We can. When you tried to expose him before, you were alone. Now there's two of us. We've got powers, and we've got proof. Grandpa's on campus. Shit, that's tonight. Everyone will be there. And he'll be expecting a mock trial. He won't be expecting us. <sighs> Wanna nail a smug asshole to the wall? I've never wanted anything more. I'm here at Krampus, but shit. I'm still reeling. Sophie has powers. She can literally nudge people's brains to see what she wants them to see. And Lucas, you can't get any lower than plagiarizing your students' work. But after tonight, everyone will know what he did. And Maya will get the justice she deserves. <laughs> okay, some of these decorations scream not safe for work. It's Krampus. Every year it gets even more like a Halloween rager. It's spooky. <laughs> it. Everyone should end the year this way. Your idea of a fun outing involves condemned buildings. Of course you'd like it. <laughs> Is the gingerbread house part of the plan? Hilarious. No. The plan is when it's time to roast Lucas, we'll swap out their toothless slideshow with mine. Spend all day on it. But all the evidence I have of what Lucas did to Maya. We'll play it while he's on stage, in front of everyone. What's wrong? Just promise me we'll nail him this time. He's not slithering out of this. Not between the two of us and other Moses. You're right. He's fucked. So, how do we pull this off? Looks like Reggie's running the projector. We need someone who's willing to run the slideshow without asking questions. And not piss themselves when Lucas gets mad. I'll see how Reggie's feeling. Next up, Ben. He's the MC tonight. So we'll need his help. Think you can talk him into it? Ben and I have history. And that leaves Gwen. Be nice to have her support. She hates Lucas as much as I do, but I doubt she'd listen to me. I'll talk to her. Great. Let me know when you're done. Enjoy the party! Hey, Reggie. You manning the projector tonight? <laughs> Babysitting, more like. The school only agreed to let us use Olga here if someone kept an eye on her at all times. Oof. Not what you had planned for Krampus. Reggie, how would you feel about helping us pull a prank on someone? We need to use the projector. Oh, uh, I, I, um, I don't, I actually, I don't think that that's, uh, that, uh, <clears throat> Just testing you. <laughs> <laughs> You're doing a great job. Caledon must appreciate it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm... Paying all the bills with all this appreciation. <laughs> okay, Reggie's not going to cut it. But if something went wrong with that projector, and Moses was the only one who could fix it... Hey. 
Just the troublemaker I wanted to see. Me? Really? Yeah. You were right. That security footage was weird. I showed it to the board. And? Didn't make a fucking ounce of difference. Got fired in. Sophie's power over perception in others seems to imprint on objects as well. Oh, Quinn. I'm so sorry. So is... Is that what you came over here for? Sophie has a plan to tell the truth about Lucas's book during the roast. It would be a lot more credible if someone from the faculty backed us up. I hadn't realized how much fight I'd lost until that hearing today. Forgot how much better it feels to stand for something. Fuck it. I'm in. Thank you, Gwen. Really. So, uh, when does this all go down? Don't worry. You won't miss it. Hey, Moses. Not sure I'll ever get used to that. <laughs> I like it. It'll help with cosplay. How's your first Krampus? It's the oddest shit I've ever seen in my life. Which is saying something. I usually hate parties, but Krampus is always fun. Anyway, that's not why we're here. Did you guys figure out a plan? Yes, we did, but it's already falling apart. We require Mozai assistance. I need to get other Reggie to let other Moses control the projector instead. Okay. I was thinking if something went wrong with it. So it's got to go wrong in a way that's right for me to fix it. Exactly. Do you know which projector it is? Reggie called it Olga? Olga can be particular. If you go to the other side and listen, I can walk you through jamming it from here. You might be better at my powers than me. Probably. <laughs> Come back and let me know if it works, okay? I will. I need Reggie's eyes off that projector long enough for me to get my hands on it. Huh. They're chummy. Maybe Diamond can help me out. Reggie's officially distracted. I should be good to go now. Sorry, Reggie, but this is one omelet we have to make. No, 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 shit. Uh, what is happening, oh god? Hey again. Hey, Moses. I need a favor. I think Reggie's on the brink of ruining school property. Oh, it's Olga. Everyone thinks she's finicky, but she's just... Rain check? Sure. Duty calls. Hey, Reggie, I found help. I, I, I don't know what happened. One minute she's fine, and the next she's yelling at me like she's my mom. <laughs> There's your problem. The focusing motor is stuck. <laughs> Maybe take the night off, Reggie. I think Moses has it from here. Really? Are you sure? Yeah, Max. You sure? Think about what's best for Olga. No offense, Reggie. Oh, none taken. Okay. If you're sure. <laughs> Thanks, Moses. You saved my life. <laughs> you're being all maxi. What's afoot? Me and Sophie are hijacking the roast tonight. And we need your help to run this slideshow instead. We have good reason. You'll see. 
All right. I trust you. It worked. Other you is in place and ready to go. Nice. Where'd you get this house? Aren't they from the party? Amanda saved me a kid. She knew Safi and I really got into it last year. Last piece. Oh, damn. Chimney broke. <sighs> I wonder how it tastes. I bet I can find an extra chimney on the other side. Just... Just hang on. Can I borrow Safi for a sec? What's up? So, Other Moses is also making a gingerbread house? Aww. Is he? Yeah. But his chimney broke. Mind if I take yours? How's he doing? Like, really? He's coping. My powers have been blowing his mind. But he misses you. I wish I could help him somehow. Moses is the only one I do this for. <sighs> this was a doozy to make. I love it. Voila. Guess who it's from. It's... for real? From the other side, from... Safi? Thank you, Max. You're welcome. We're ready to go. Is he... Part of your merry band? Yeah, I am. Great. Gwen's on board, too. Damn. <laughs> Hope it's not for nothing. Why? What's going on? Lucas is about to call the whole thing off. He's out on the patio freaking out. He's supposed to announce his movie deal tonight. I guess he's worried it's too good to be true. Okay, so what do we do? Better be quick. The guy's two ticks away from calling an Uber. Fuck. I'm gonna go stall him. You figure something out, Max. Good luck. What's she doing? Is that Sophie? Yep. <laughs> That's definitely Sophie. You're usually very quid pro quo. I'm surprised you agreed to help us. I didn't agree to help you. I know. You're doing this for Safi. And Maya. Four years later, and I still feel like crap about what happened. You're trying to do the right thing now. That matters. I'll be quick. How did you find success after years of mediocrity? Loretta? I've talked about this in my workshops, Loretta. Don't you remember? Critics rarely understand genius when it first appears. That's very kind of you, Max. And very true. It's been years since Water Beast was published. Have you settled for an early retirement? Come on, Loretta. You can't rush the process. Lucas has a vision that requires time to perfect. Yes. Very well said, Max. Thank you. Besides, there's a reason Lucas needs to focus back on Wilder Beasts for now. Oh, really? If you stick around for the Krampus roast, you can be the first to break the news. Right, Lucas? Uh... Yeah, that's right, sure. Nice work. 
Loretta. Thanks for your time, Professor. Thanks, Max. That young woman was aggressive. Loretta looks up to you. All the students do. I'll let you in. I almost called off the event before you got here. You? On your big night? <laughs> yeah, I know. If my old man could see me, he'd tell me to man up and get in there. <laughs> he was an author too, you know. Roberto Colmenero. <sighs> Come on then. I deserve this. I should stop stalling. Go get him. Although, I thought you were going to puke there for a second. Lucas has a gun. Ew, what the fuck? Why? It belonged to his father. Sophie, this is bad. Oh, Jesus, Max. You might shoot me. Lucas might shoot me. America has a problem. I told you, Max. I trust you. Here. I'll hold on to it. Happy? It's time for the Krempus Roast! <laughs> Let's welcome our guest of honor, Professor Lucas Colmanero! Fair warning, he's gonna say a few words before we start, so I hope everyone's already halfway to waste it. <laughs> no hard feelings, bro. Thanks, Vin. I, uh... I wanted to announce some surprising news. No? My world-renowned book, Wilder Beast Than These. Wait. That's not right. Uh, who... What is this? Not your past, Lucas. Your former student, Maya Okada. Now that's odd. <laughs> I thought this was a presentation about your book. Would you care to explain what Maya's doing up there instead? These are not my slides. No? Then let me help you out. The beast rose and stared into me. It became me. I had always been the beast. <laughs> Powerful words from Caledon's famous pet novelist. Am I right? What do we all think? Woo! What? Maya was a good writer. Thanks, everyone. Now, wait a minute, Professor. This might be the clue we were looking for. So, what do we have here? Maya Okada's draft. Wait a minute. Maya wrote that sentence? That, that, that page? For real? Yes, for real. But you already know that. Because every word of your venerated novel belongs to Maya Okada. What the hell are you doing? This is slander. Every one of this man's accolades 
belongs to Maya Okada. That's why he only wrote one book. I can't believe this. That's why the one book. You were right. It's working. How did he get away with this? You don't know what you're talking about. Try me. All right, all right, let's rein this in. <laughs> now, we wouldn't want this roast to end in any actionable legal threats. <laughs> uh, continue, please. As some of you must surely know, Maya Okada was a beloved former student of mine who tragically took her own life. The thought of her death being politicized and used as, as a cudgel, beyond disrespectful. Maya believed in my work. She believed in me. That's a load of horse shit, Colmanero. Everything Vin Lang said is true. I should know. Because I helped cover it up. I shouldn't have, but I did. And so did this university. We all helped make sure that man never faced a single consequence. That's despicable. Horrible. Petty of you, Gwen, trying to take me down with you. Unfortunately, Dr. Hunter was just terminated for, well, highly illegal conduct. That has nothing to do with this. In fact, her very presence on this campus may be unlawful in and of itself. Gwen, we've been colleagues for years. I understand you're disgruntled, but I hope in the future you can channel your anger more productively. How fucking dare you? Wow. Sorry about that, folks. I knew this would fucking happen. What are you doing? I'm changing it to Ven. I'll make Lucas fess up myself. Sophie, wait. This is your chance to tell everyone your side. Shouldn't you go up there as yourself? Are you serious right now? Right. If speaking my truth worked, we wouldn't it's be here. I am serious. Superpowers aren't the answer to every problem. I would know. With the rest of Caledon. Fuck. As of next year, Wilder BCDs right. will be adapted into a feature. Trust you. Film. We have to get in this time, Max. So, this is Vin's turf, not cast, mine. Friends. Make my day. Do you really think I should go up there as myself? You can do this. Fuck. Honesty is not my strong suit. Here we go. Safi. Did you forget that I was actually there? That at one point we were all friends? You, me, and Maya? I trusted you. Was that all a lie, too? You're trying to turn me into this monster. I watched you tour the country, win awards for the work you stole from her. I watched her beg you to stop. I watched you kill her. Now you expect me to watch you profit off her grave? Yeah, and what about you? If what I did was really so bad, you would have said something back then. You didn't. I was a child. What was your excuse?
And what young Sophie here doesn't understand is it, it wasn't stealing. Authors frequently take uh, inspiration from one another. I was going to give her credit, but then she... Think about what I was going through at that time. My divorce, my son, this. This is absurd. You were right. They listened to me. Just me. Of course they did. You're you. <laughs> you don't know how much this means to me, Max. I'm just happy to share this moment with you. Okay, enough. Let's celebrate! Hey! <laughs> we need to talk. Alone. And before you say, fuck off, you'll want to hear this. Relax. I'm the one packing, remember? I'll be fine. Wait for me? I'll be over with Moses when you're ready. We got him. What I would have given to see it. How is Safi? Surprised, I think. She's not used to people listening to her and believing her. You should get back. She'll need you. Us. She knows you're still here for her, too. Whoa, that made my entire year. Mine too. So that's what you two were planning this whole time. Wait, where's Sophie? Where's Sophie? Sophie wanted the truth, so I gave it to her. All of it. You don't even know what the fuck you just did, do you? What was that about? My head, it's... It was my book! I can't, I can't, I can't believe you! Believe I can't do this! You lied to me. You lied, you lied to, to me. me. You lied, you lied to, to me. me. You lied to me. Sophie. You lied to me. 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 Wait for me. Hold on, Safi. Oh, please. I was trying to say you were trying to protect me. Say it one more time. I fucking dare you. Don't do Stay this! Stay back! Both of you! Safi! Listen to me! Something's happening to your powers! You're losing control! All this time I've been trying to get justice and she's the one who's been getting in the way! Not Gwen! My own fucking mother! 
It was you? You canceled her book deal? The book was just her latest twisted fuckery. She's been doing this for years. Since I was a kid. You deserve better than what I- <laughs> My dad. And she made me think it was his idea. How fucked up is that? You don't understand. This world can be so cruel. How's this for cruel? The only time in my entire life that you were controlling me was when I wasn't even me! Happy tea. Uh, uh, oh my god. Do you think you are? I'm your mother. One day you will understand. Shut up! I've done everything for you. Shut up! No! What the fuck, Max? You the fucking hero again? You couldn't just stay back and let me handle this for once? It's okay, Yasmin. You're gonna be okay. Get away from her! Ah! Oh my god, Saucy! Fancy seeing you here. Which Sophie are you? Am I even Sophie? After all of that? Holy shit! <laughs> you really did it! <laughs> Weather's worse than I remember it. The storm followed me. So did I, apparently. I've never done that before. I guess it's time. 
Do you understand what you're asking me to do? You've already done it, right? At this point, it's just recitation. Sophia, I'm serious. This is too much. Stop stalling, Max. You saw what happened. There wasn't any of me left. It was all Moses and Ben and Lucas and Gwen. It hurt so much. I hurt so many people. Help me fix it. Please. That's what it feels like to capture the perfect photo. It feels good. Final. Maybe we are cursed. You, me, and Maya. Or maybe the world is cursed. We just live in it. Safi. That's poetry and bullshit? Yeah, I know. You're so important to me, Sophie. God, you're such a cornball. Uh. Pull the trigger. choice between two shitty futures. Come on. dead. And I'm in the North Quad. Small victories, Max. It's so quiet for a storm. Like, oppressively quiet. Safi? Safi! Thank God. I walked out of the snapping turtle, and then somehow I was here. You know where we are, right? We're in the North Quad. Why are we the only ones here? I don't know. But if things are weird now, they're only going to get weirder. That's not comforting. I wish Moses was here. I hope he's okay. Come on, let's get inside. This storm is as bad as it looks. 
Maybe Safi and Moses found shelter. Max! I'm right behind you. Hey, uh, Moses? Give me the Cliff Notes version of what we're actually here to see. Have you seen Safi tonight? Why am I not at home wrapped up in a blanket burrito right now? So, should we be worried about this crazy asteroid hitting Earth? You're not making any sense. Are you trying to tell me something? Just trying to capture the perfect photo. The perfect photo. The perfect photo. Hang on. Safi? All right, Max. You have 24 hours before the world ends. What would you do? Safi, are you in there? Max! Max, it's me, Moses. I... Moses! All right, Max. You have 24 hours before the world ends. What would you do? I don't know. I guess I'd... like Safi had locked me in a kind of, I don't know, a sarcophagus. I was trapped, but still protected somehow. And I could hear Safi. I could hear you. Just outside of it, I... Where was she? I don't know. I couldn't get to her. Whatever you did, snapped me out of it. Or snapped her out of me? I've been through something like it before. Reality gets unreliable. Better if you sit tight. Machine Angel Psychic Storm. Take care, Max. See you on the uh, flip side. isn't Caledon. This is Blackwell Academy. Chloe was shot here. I listened to it happen. I... You don't know who the fuck I am or who you're messing around with. What'd you get, Dad? What are you doing? Chloe! Come on, put that thing down! Don't ever tell me what to do. I am so sick of people trying to control me. You are going to get in hella more trouble for this than drugs. 
Nobody would ever even miss your punk ass, would they? Get that gun away from me, psycho! No! <sighs> Maybe Sophie's right. <sighs> Maybe we are cursed. Cursed to relive our worst moments over and over again. I had a chance to save Chloe from this bathroom, from Nathan's gun. But to do that, I had to let Arcadia Bay get destroyed in a storm. I couldn't do that. I rewound time, gave her up to get shot a second time. Well, joke's on you, Storm. If you don't think I play out this moment in my head every day, then you don't really know me. Okay. That's new. Lucas, I have to get down there. anymore. So this is what it's gonna take. Oh god, I can't move. Once is all you get. We gaze at each other in the windowless box. It is flight or fight. Never forgive. Lucas, it's me. It's Max. But there are no bells, doors, or windows. Only his face. A mirror. you in the flesh I thought I was dreaming Sophie was there what the shit is this place stay put okay it's dangerous out there Miss Caulfield is that you Reggie I'm so glad you're okay Max what the hell is happening I'm not sure. It has to do with time, a time vortex that manifests in a storm. Ugh. Time vortex? 
Fuck, you're right. I remember Safi being shot, and I remember seeing her around campus. And and last night I was I, I hung with Diamond at the Turtle, I think. And I also sat there alone and watched you make out with Vin. Reggie. Just stay here, okay? I'm going to fix this. This is Safi. Isn't it? This is her pain. What we did to her. Vin, I don't think Safi blames you for. <laughs> no. <laughs> You're right. She doesn't. She was in my head back there, and she doesn't think about me at all. Two Sophies in two universes, and neither of them cared if I live or die. <clears throat> you know, I. I was in love with her. Or I thought I was. Maybe you should focus on what's in front of you. Yeah. Maybe. I'm going to fix this. Trust me. I do. I do trust you. Be careful, Max. Okay. Out of the frying pan and into the turtle, I guess. Amanda, thank God. Are you okay? I don't know. Weird shit at the turtle is someone flipping the paintings with the bathroom key going missing, not this. Max, what is this storm? Why is Gwen out there, and why are you not also freaking out? Look. Go get yourself some water, or a beer, and I promise I'll explain soon. Or try to. I don't think Gwen entirely knows she's outside. I'd be used to this. <laughs> Don't worry, Safi. I'm coming. After this shoot, I'm gonna nap till June. Maybe September. Maybe if I lie down for a few minutes, all of these rooms will stop spinning. Feels so nice to rest. I wish I didn't have to get up for that shoot. Who was the client again? Or the location? I... That's the problem with moving around so much. All these rooms really do start to blend together after a while. One big 
amorphous blob of motels. Like some kind of... nebula. Nebula, 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 nebula. I was just there. There was Sophie. This isn't right. get out of here if I can't even open this door. Let me out! I'm back. Jesus, Max. Warner Girl first. Sorry. You disappeared and I don't know where you went. I'm okay. And I promise I'll explain everything. Later. Gwen, stay here and take shelter. Wait, what are you gonna do? Sophie's out there, somewhere close. I can feel her, and she needs me. I need her. Be safe, yeah? When am I not? Why do I always gotta fall for the weird ones? Always forget you're so huggy. Did I do it? Are you you again? As much as I ever was. Thank you, Max. Don't thank me yet. We still have to find a way out of this place. Or this time. Hey, I'm taking a minute. All of that was pretty fucked up. Yeah. But who needs all the king's horses and all the king's men? I've got you to put me back together again. You know, I was pretty cool. I accept phoning gratitude. <laughs> Consider yourself fond. Oof. So, any chance of everybody just forgetting I tried to rip out their soul? I don't think so. Everyone I've encountered seems lucid. And the timelines seem to be combining. Great. Fantastic. We'll deal with it. Time travel, alternate universes, scraping together the broken pieces of your unstable friends. 
What else can you do? I don't know. Get a lot of nosebleeds? <laughs> Migraines, too. This power involves a lot of ibuprofen. What? You just seem... extremely chill? Considering we're still stuck in a supernatural time storm. It's the little things in life. Frappuccinos, movie marathons, chilling with your bestie in the void. Here's the thing. I'm glad you were here too. You know. But I just tore everybody apart into tiny little pieces. You didn't mean to. Are you sure? I didn't not mean to. Maya isn't any less dead. Everybody I cared about still betrayed me. My mom. I'll never be different. I think the best thing would be... Clean break. I don't belong here. Don't say that. Of course you do. After the wallet girl died... What did you do? I... ran away. You're not like me, Safi. You're way stronger than I ever was. Don't say that about yourself. You have it wrong. People like you and me, we don't belong at some B-tier liberal arts university with a bunch of wash-up bloggers ready to knife each other for tenure. We're... fucking divine. <laughs> Come on. I'm serious. The shit that we can do? Gods can do that stuff. Or... monsters. Safi. I'm not scared anymore. All that stuff about curses and destiny and breaking the world... It's not real. You're real. You're what matters to me. Just stay. And we can work it all out. I hurt people. And I fixed it. We can fix it. Together. Of course. Duh. That's why you're so confident. The figure's the only person I can rely on is me. Sophie, I don't... Last piece of me, Max. It's in you. Why isn't it hurting me like it hurt everyone else? Maybe I trust you? Maybe it's more of your magic Max bullshit? I wish I didn't have to take it out. Is that weird? Safi. This is maybe the least weird thing that's happened to me in days. We should though, right? That's how we get out of here? If I had to put money on it, yeah. It's probably for the best. We don't want you to get an infection or anything. <laughs> See you on the other side.
Safia. Oh my god. Yasmin. Everything is going to be okay. Don't worry. Do you think you can get up? Can you... Oh, Safi, help me! Clean break. Remember? It's all right, Maxine. If Safia wants to pretend I'm not here, well... That is her right. Safi! <sighs> you do have a place here. People need you. I need you, Safi. Hmm. Safi? <sighs> I don't know her. I can be anyone, Max. I can be your new boyfriend. I can be a cute girl at the bar. I can even be... Sophie, stop it! Keep that... that... thing... away from me! You can make her forget she saw that, right? Better yet, you could make me unshoot her. You have an instant undo button on life, Max. Why not use it? If you think that's how it works, you don't know anything. There's always a price, Safi. Always. You're right. I've got a lot to learn. So teach me, Miss Caulfield. What? You said we could fix everything. Together. Safi. I can't. I have... Fuck, I have... My, my life. Everybody. I'm going to find other people like us. People with powers. I spent my whole life thinking I was the only one. Knowing I could never tell anyone because they would look at me like that. But now there's you. You and me. Time traveler and a shapeshifter. Imagine <laughs> what we could do. And who cares if I'm a silly little girl whose mom needs to show her how the world works? Because now it works however I want it to. Stay here. Keep your job, your life, whatever irresistible glory Caledon can offer you. But I have to know. When I come back, are you going to stay with me, Max? Are we in this together? Or is everything you said in the storm just words? Or you need to leave. There's nothing for me here. I mean, besides you. But you'll wait, right? Be safe, Safi.
No more lies. No more hiding. Hey, Reggie. I know we didn't get much chance to talk in the... The Twilight Zone. <laughs> well, we were all a little busy. <laughs> Can I ask you something privately? Um, so, about Vin. It's okay. I know that you didn't kiss him on purpose. Or, or I mean, I know that it wasn't about me. We were sad and drinking, and he's... Like an avalanche. Yes. Tell me about it. It's fine. I'm over him. I'm focused on doppelgangers and multiple realities, and <laughs> I still have no idea how I'm going to pass Econ. And <laughs> Reggie, it's going to be okay. I know it sucks, but you'll get through it. Thanks, Max. Hey there. <sighs> Caulfield, sorry, I'm still kind of on edge. When the storm started, I followed Lucas to that rundown bowling alley. Shit, you were there too? Then everything stopped making sense. I'm so sorry, Loretta. I had no idea. Trust me. It's over now. So, do you also remember that there were, like, two of you? And, and now they're fighting for space in your head? Well, it didn't work the same way for me. But that's because... Wait... Are you asking on the record? Not yet. I'm still doing research. Why? Do you know something? You wouldn't believe me even if I told you. I'll text you when I'm ready to do interviews. Yasmin. I haven't heard from her since the day she came out of surgery. Hello? Hello, Maxine. How's your shoulder? The bullet missed any major veins. But it will be months of physical therapy before I can use my arm. Yes, mean. What you saw during the storm... I don't need an explanation. Not yet. If I try to understand, then there will be no room for my recovery. And I will recover. I have to find Sofia. Any news about your job? I heard the board, um... Ugh, I have been arguing with them. I made my mistakes, but these are offset by an excellent track record. And did the board buy that? They did not, no. I have been asked, <laughs> forced, to step down. I love my daughter, Maxine, just like you. I am not a monster. I haven't heard from Sophie, if that's what you're trying to ask. Oh. I, I had hoped. One moment. Excuse me, I... I'm apparently well past the appointed time to take my painkillers. <sighs> Until next time. Working on your new book? Maybe you should switch to science fiction. Max, are you going to tell me what the hell I went through? 
or do I have to spend the next decade in therapy? I don't really know how to explain what happened. But... You should think of it as a second chance. One step ahead of you. I'm working on my apology as we speak. What do you say? Give a guy some constructive feedback? Give it to me. It's a little rough, granted. Do you actually mean any of this? Does it matter? At least no one can say I stole it. Not that they won't try. So, what's your next move? I'm not sure. Focusing on Robbie. I'm hoping he'll give me a second chance. That's probably the smartest thing you've ever said. It's not like I can stay at Caledon. This place has been poisoned against me. Who's the victim now? Well, goodbye, Lucas. Good luck. Yeah, you too. Here goes nothing. Well? Not a peep. Guess I'm not surprised. Would you come looking for us if you were her? But it's not me. It's Sophie. Does anyone ever know what she'll do next? Does she? Maybe we should go easy on her. Wait for her to pick up the pieces. In the meantime... Take your time. I'll be here when you're done. Max! <laughs> Jesus Christ, I am so fucking glad to see you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm sorry for texting you like 900 times. I just didn't know who else to talk to. Don't worry. This sort of thing is... isolating. It was for me the first time. I feel more alone than I ever have in my life. I'm still trying to work out which Vin is which, you know? Things will get better. Yeah. New Horizons, right? We'll talk soon. So you're super Max. Guess your secret identity is gone, huh? I wanted to tell you. But you couldn't. Just like with the Maya thing. Any more secrets, or do I finally get to know you now? Would you really have believed me, though? If I had told you? It is pretty insane. <laughs> you know, I remember rejecting you. And then you just found a version of me that still wanted you. A pretty cool trick. But kind of fucked up. Where does that leave us? I'd understand if 
This changes things. That's what I was gonna ask you. And you kissed him, too. Right in front of me, by the way. Well, one of the me's. This whole other reality thing is new for me, too. But I am sorry. It was a dick move. All of this scares the shit out of me, honestly. If it weren't you, I don't know how down I would be to play Lois Lane. But it is you. And they like you. I think I need time. Sort out my shit? Give me a little. And then who knows? <laughs> Maybe you can win me back. Challenge accepted. Max! Sorry, I just... You're gonna explain what happened, right? Hey. Me okay? What do you think it all means? Why you? Or Safi? I'm still trying to understand. I didn't know anyone else had powers until I met... Safi. That must have been... a revelation. You have no idea. How are we supposed to walk around knowing something like that could happen? You already handle that every day. Anything could happen at any moment. You could be hit by a car, struck by lightning. Is this your pep talk? Some weather we're having, am I right? Hope that wasn't the grand explanation you promised us. Hey, isn't eloquence your job? I just take the <laughs> photos. I felt how much she hated me, Max. It was terrifying and disappointing. Safi was dealing with a lot. You couldn't have known. She needed someone she could trust. It should have been me. It's in the past now. I hope so. Oh, one more thing. That video footage of me. That was Safi, right? Yeah. Fuck. That girl never does anything halfway. Neither do you, now that I think about it. Anyway, I talked to the committee that fired me. There's enough weird shit that's happened, I think I can argue my way back in. I failed Safi. But there's other students here I can still support. I won't just let it go. I'm glad to hear it. Everyone's pretty shell-shocked. Yep. How about you? Still excited to have double memories? <laughs> I can't be the only one. Seriously? <laughs> Come on, it's fascinating. What if Safi really does come back? She did some terrible things, Max. And you basically gave her your seal of approval. I'm not giving up on Safi. You shouldn't either. 
Jeez, Max, nobody's writing her off. But I hate being scared of my best friend. Hey, we're a team, right? I'll handle it with you. No more hiding or running away. Do you think you'll ever go back to Arcadia Bay? Yeah. One day. I think it's time I explained a few things. It won't always make sense. And I'm not proud of every decision I made. It's the truth. What's coming next is going to be difficult. For all of us. But we're going to get through it together. I promise. This time... I'm not going anywhere. We're gonna have to get you a blood transfusion. What the fuck are you doing here? You remember me. That's flattering. I've seen nosebleeds like that before. So you can run, or you can follow me and get some answers. Your choice. <laughs> 